Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Dusty and Mike, Dusty, hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully you can hear everybody. Just finishing setting up on my end. Mike's been added. He was live on the short speed for a minute. I'm going to finish up a couple things, start working on these sunflowers with you guys. It was 41, right? Yes, 41. Do you know the amount we need for mixes? Yes, I have that. Okay. Oh, okay. Never mind. I got NC then. Forty one sunflowers done. That's going to be our small and one of our small numbers this week. Forty one and, and the numbers. Yeah. Crazy numbers this week. Crazy, crazy. Did not do any sunflowers going to the food bank, so that makes it a little bit easier to, to do. So, we didn't want to put that on us, you know. We get to decide what they're getting, so, you know, we might as well give them the easier, higher, well, not higher yielding, but easier stuff to do. Don't have to sort through and stuff. Time wise is a concern as well, so. That's why we went mostly a lot of peas, broccoli, kale, cabbage, Nebraska blend. We're doing a lot of them. Uh, what is that in pounds, by the way? Oh, that would be a great question. 72, is it 70? That's faces. 145, so 8 pounds. 9.65. <laughs> Are you not everywhere? I went on to the X and get the Facebook being dumb still. <laughs> and LinkedIn. That's good. You got nobody? Huh? Nobody there? Nobody there. Nobody. I'm sure Mark will be on break in a bit. <laughs> if he's working today. Oh, that would one of those days. That's a good point.
I'm sure there's a lot of them that are not working today. What are you doing? You're the wrong day to try to mess with that. Yeah, try not to We're going to need packing lists for when your son gets here, though. So you can build them. All right. Did you text him and remind him noon? Yes. Yes, I did. Yeah. Remind the kid he has to come to work today. Hello, everybody. You're there. If you're there, say hello. Uh, let me know you can hear us. We got our mic set up, so I just wanted to make sure. So say hello. Doing uh, behind the next two days, biggest harvesting we've ever done. So should be interesting. We planned it out in our heads. We think we can get it all done but with just three people, two, two and a half. We're going to find out. We're definitely going to find out. There's almost no seed holes on these. Yeah, this undergrowth. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? You do restaurants. Oh, I got to do restaurants. <laughs> That's why I put it over there. You're so sweet. <sighs> Giving me my thing for restaurants. That's a challenge. Yeah, you got to get all this. The packaging back and forth. I mean, I don't go through a ton of these. You just got to get it ahead of time. Get my steps in. It's really not that far. Yeah.
No, you didn't put the banner up. Last day for that offer. Oh, it you is the last day for it. that. Yep, I can throw that banner up real quick for you. We can do that. There you go. Fixed. And a little note about last day. These are already starting to pop true leaves. These are mm -hmm. on day eight still? Yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed they still pop, but they just get to get as tall. And I think our germination wasn't as great. Yeah, just minor differences. The seeds did good still. The soil. Yeah. Have you been measuring how much you're getting off the trays? Huh? Are you measuring averages on trays? I did 20? when I did the individuals. Okay. So 22. That's not bad for ProMix. Well, not ProMix, but ProMix stuff. Hey, DeSanto. Stan, how are you? Got Morning, no sound Dan. on his end. Oh, no. Did you not put the right settings? I thought I did. Test, 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 test. Test, yeah, test. It's showing up on my end. Hmm. It's back. Oh, it said it's back. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Great podcast last night. Thank you. Thank you. It was great having Matt on there. Nino Greens. Yeah, we haven't gotten to really work with Matt a lot. Um, familiar with him from like other groups and stuff, but haven't really gotten to really talk in depth with him a lot. So it was great to kind of really see his very different perspective. definitely outside the box and I love it. I've seen his YouTube a while ago, but didn't realize it was him until halfway through. Nice. That's funny. I think that's the most active channel he has um, is YouTube. He's not big on like the social media. He's not good about posting onto that. But his contact information is there. Yeah. And I totally understand that because it can get really crazy busy and it's hard to stay consistent on social. Yep.
It was a great podcast because I didn't have to do a lot of talking. Probably was better that way. <laughs> I got to relax. Yeah, I'm mudding a bathroom quick, then going to do family thing, then coming back to work later, then planting microgreens tonight. That sounds about right. Work never stops. But you can move things around. Yep. You get done what you need to do family-wise and stuff, and still do all that if you desire. But not when your mother-in-law calls Thursday and wants to know if we're doing anything for Easter. <laughs> It was Friday. It was Friday? Friday. It was on Good Friday. Oh, it was, it was on, on Friday. Good Friday. It was even on Good Friday. Like, a um, little late. Well, my calendar has gotten insanely full in that meantime. I just assumed we weren't doing things. Yep. Oops. So we filled the calendar. What happens when you have tired people? Retired, yeah, all retired and cool like that. But they're used to it. I mean, like, when I used to work in the restaurant industry. I mean, Easter was one of the busiest days. So. Yeah. You didn't you didn't get off. You didn't get the holidays off, so that was a juggle. Oh, <laughs> 
Ya kami. Yeah, I gotta go to mother-in-law. Saha, her other work. <laughs> you know, my mother-in-law's okay. He says that as I'm here. Huh? You say that as I'm here. Well, yeah. I mean, I didn't say anything else. <laughs> no. Sometimes when you work Christmas, yep. Depends on what day it's gonna fall on. I mean, we're pretty much working every day right now, so. <laughs> we worked on Christmas. Yeah. Plants gotta be watered still, regardless. So, so I got something to do. Yep. Now we're very fortunate. All our family is very close, not only to us but our, each other. They kind of intertwine well. Yeah. They get along. Yeah. Short summits. Bunches of short summits. If you go this way, you can get like six of them in there for lettuce. For lettuce, I like it. Oh, hell of a hmm? What are you doing? Did I? Yeah. I threw something that far? Yeah. I would think I did it, but all right. Maybe I did. I don't think I can reach that far. Hmm. You can toss pretty good. Mm Thank you. 
Can I give me another one? Nope. Okay. Only one left, so. Oh. Well, I guess I'll start with radishes then. Ninja fast, my love. Mm -hmm. Been at it for a moment. I don't know about Ninja. Kung Fu Panda, maybe. Kung Fu Panda. With all the stuff on there now, I can move it. Huh? With all the stuff on the screen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> One thing I need to talk to Andy about, you need to remind me, like, he needs to be looking for that hour and five minute mark we need to hit just under that. Oh, the podcast yeah. is an hour. One hour. After cutting down. So you just keep talking. You can do that for the Q&A. Huh? For the Q&A, fine. Yes. But not the actual main. Question. Am I going to do 42 radishes in the small container still for the not? Yes, because we need to use them still. I still need to use those. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Since we can be a little odd, you're going to have to 
side is transition change. Time. Yeah. Is that the last one? Mm -hmm. Oh, we still have. Mm -hmm. Okay. Confirming. Yeah, that's on a tiny screen. I made the words bigger. Yeah. Probably better that way. Maybe, maybe I can read things a little bit easier. So wait a second, I can use the zoom. Bridge is no longer there. Wow. Huh? I was going there for. Oh, wrong refrigerator. Walking? Mm -hmm. oh, They're in the smaller. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. There's your like three week of a uh, rockley experiment. Looks great. Yeah, that was bad. A Two, three days of... Settling wise, it's fine. Settling wise, it's fine. And we're not even storing that away now, but. Yeah. Yeah. 
You got 20 in there? Please. Yes. So 22? 22. Want to remind you of that? Yeah, I wasn't sure on the exact number, but I knew it was like around that much. Oh, uh, so 20 grams of purple cabbage gave me 6.3 in harvest weight. Hmm. Um, we get about eight, right? Purple cabbage? Purple cabbage. Or purple radish. Purple kohlrabi. Purple kohlrabi. That's, yeah, was like, oh, that's what I thought. I was like, I've looked at it again. I definitely didn't read, hear that right. Um, kohlrabi, it's about eight. So about eight. not yeah. too far out. Not too far out. Six six ounces selling it. Say three dollars. Probably get an ounce. Eighteen a tray. It's not horrible. Yeah, it's still profitable. Well, I still mean, profitable. Still very profitable. But... Still very profitable. But... Yeah. Oh, and now I'll be here till tomorrow. You and me. For days. You don't have any of them in there? None. I don't think so. I don't think so. So this batch, I'm going to start my new samples and selling sell it grow to get going. Awesome. Yay! Congratulations, Dan. Also, race season starts next week. Ha -ha, st more stuff to add to my schedule. <laughs> Right. Always more stuff. There's always more. You can always find more to do. Always more things you want to do. So how many peas am I making? How many peas? Do you really want to know the number? 566. 500? 66 peas. So, about that. Good times. Good times. Dan, are you racing or you watch them just be? What are you doing with the races? You working till 10 tonight? Uh, that'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long we'll work until we're going to work until we get to a certain point or when, when we back, can't do it anymore. The back decides not to. Yep. When the back gives out, that's pretty much it. And then. Hopefully get it all done tomorrow. We do have the one employee slash kid coming in at noon today. So that should help out a lot. He wasn't coming in until later usually. Now he's getting more hours, which he's happy with. So uh, he'll be doing a lot of the heavier lifting. Use that young back. I'd rather work tonight as long as I can and work later, early, get off done earlier on Monday since we get up like at four on Tuesdays. So now we'll be getting up like at four on Tuesdays. Yeah, four o'clock. To on get Tuesdays. here to pack, to get stuff onto the truck. The one downside of the truck, I don't have a way to plug it in to keep the reefer going overnight. Yet. Yet. <laughs> so I have to come back there early in the morning and Get everything thrown on everything thrown onto the truck. Unlike the coolers, I can just put ice in them and they're good to go overnight. But so a little different, but obviously better in the long run.
Yeah, I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to do 566 peas. Luckily, peas are the fastest ones to harvest. So we kind of planned it that way. I did it to myself. We did it to ourselves. Story of everything. We did it to ourselves. Yeah, when we planned all this out and we were going to be selling all this stuff, we didn't even think that this was Easter. You know, we don't think of that stuff, so. Uh, he's building a car to drive. Awesome. Need a motor, transmission, a few small things, but also going to watch from here to New Hampshire. Plus, I need some help on the other, other guys. Need help from other guys. Awesome. That's awesome. Sounds like fun. I wish I would have got, I would have loved to got into racing. I wanted to, but. My parents would not have paid for it, so I never did it. And then I got in the workforce and then never had time to do it. So and there was that time thing. But I love racing. I I, I love going fast. Mm -hmm. So would love to do it. What I want to do is they got up in Joliet. They have uh, where you can do the get in the NASCAR open track and then drive it. And I I think they get. You, I think it's 150, 180, something like that. I'm not sure what it is that he likes to get up to. Uh, but you get to drive the car on the track and race, a little mini race or whatever. I don't know if you're really racing, but you get to drive it at least. Have some fun with it at least. Have some fun with it. So that's a goal at some point to do. Most of the racing I went to was dirt track. Was yeah. A lot of dirt track. A lot of dirt track. The one thing the kid will not be happy about is dumping 93 trays of peas. <laughs> he's so he hates peas. He hates he's seen that number. Peas. He was like, what? what? But why? But why? 93 trays of peas? Yeah. I think that might be his least favorite task of the day. I say these things are perfect height, though. They're gorgeous. They are. So happy about that. Perfect height. Don't have to really cut them down and worry about them. They fit in really nice. So that helps. Dan, do you have a do you show your builds in your cars at all on maybe another channel or something? Or yeah. you're racing or anything? Always intrigues me. I know he's got some really awesome YouTube shorts. Yeah, his YouTube shorts are doing well. I got to get more out there. I started trying to do it yesterday. I didn't have time to cut them down and edit them yet. So Nine out of hours in the day. I have no more shorts on my channel scheduled right now. So I always hate that. I always like to have something scheduled on this channel. Luckily, we pretty much go live almost all the time. So there's always something. Yeah. My sister saying happy Easter. Mm -hmm. And our oldest saying Guten Morgen, Mon. Apparently, he's decided he's going to speak some crazy stuff. That Xavier or? Jordan, actually. He's been on the internet too much. Yeah. Probably because he wouldn't respond to my thank you. So I said, Danke. Yeah. And he was like, what? <laughs> uh, Dan, I'm trying to set up a racing Pennsylvania doing dirt micro 60, 600 cc's with hyper racing. Yes, yes, I love it. Hey, Miguel, how are you? I guys hope all is well. Have you guys considered lifting the table a couple inches to help on the back? It is. It's got <laughs> bed risers on it down here. The table is lifted. He's just tall. Yeah. It is lifted. Uh, they got some double ones we're going to be ordering. Double bed risers. Uh, you got to order them online, though. Inches, yeah. So I'm going to get them. Probably just for my side. I don't know if she could handle. It'd be okay. We'll see. It'd be doable. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I got bed risers on this. I got the hold uh, mat things that you can get from, like, Lowe's. 
And then I got some rubber mats on top of that. So yeah. So Anti-fatigue mats galore. So yeah, we've got the anti-fatigue mats and then he has another layer of anti-fatigue because his feet are flatter than mine. <laughs> yeah, we do all we can. Definitely try to protect your body as much as you can in this line of work. I used to go to a chiropractor all the time, which I highly recommend chiropractors. I just got to find time to put it back in my schedule. Yeah. I had to back there. take some time away from him because of uh, medical situations, which you guys may know or may not, that, um, that I just didn't, well, couldn't go to him because of that. So, uh, But I definitely need to get back over there and figure out scheduling-wise because it definitely helps. Taking notes on those mats, I'm sure it helps a ton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We probably should put these in our resource list. You know, I probably should at least give examples of what they could get. Yeah. Um, so we'll yeah. probably do that. We'll put, we, I'll, I'll do that next couple of days. We'll put all the mats and stuff in our resource list on our school group. And that's in our free one. We give that away from free. I want everybody to be able to do stuff. Got you. Oh, no, they're, I just set them over there. Oh, okay. I thought they were just stuck together or something. They were pretty stuck together, but I just set them there. Almost made an extra one in the small containers. Almost. Yeah, you got to have something down, down below your feet. I mean, we're going to be here at least 12 hours today. So. We definitely want to make sure we're taking care of our feet. I need some better back. insoles on my shoes too. Yeah. There's, you know, so better, you know, good shoes, good insoles, uh, so, mats to stand on, raise the tables, you know, yeah, it all adds up. 22. Huh? 22. In the small containers. Yep. We're in the process of changing our containers fully over to one container. So we're going just to the large 24s for everything. So all the new orders are going to go into the large containers completely. So we're using up the small ones a little bit here. So that looks Actually, not too bad. I just squished them down on the right because I had switched them over from the other container. Okay. So they were already squished down from the other one. Gotcha. Yeah. So this is a transition week while we transition out the 16s. We'll send them to the stores that we normally have been getting anyway. We don't want to start the new ones off with a different package and then change it up next week. So. Because then they'll be confused and asking questions. And and the new ones are getting it in cases. Yeah, and the new ones are getting it in cases. Like, we got boxes we're doing uh, 30 per case on them. So, we deliver them by pallet. Does he have radish boxes? Huh? I see radishes on labels on the boxes. Did we do radishes? I thought it was just five varieties. It's six, isn't it? Oh. Six varieties, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, five. Grass, good boy. Six. Yep, I definitely didn't have him do radishes. Okay, so he'll need to label radish boxes. And I'll have to tape them. Yeah. I don't know if I can trust either one of you on that one. It only did it once. I figured it out. Yeah. He was like six boxes then and cut himself. He was freaking out then. <laughs> he was scared of it then. Yeah, at that point he was afraid. He was just scared of it. Again. Yeah. 
afraid to cut himself again. Dan, if I can hurry up and get my car done, I can run a race with Kyle Bush. Awesome. Hey. This summer, fun. his spotter is from Maine. So while doing NASCAR race in the night before doing the local race, that had to be fun. That'd be really cool. I bet them spotters get paid well too, man. They, yeah. They're very, very important. Very important piece. Are they racing on Easter or they take it off, Dan? I don't know. I, I haven't been able to keep up with anything, obviously. Yeah. It's, yeah. I'm in here. We saw the couch for like 10 minutes last night. Yeah, it was about 30. Yeah. 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, you saw we Yeah, you saw <laughs> I was still cooking. cooking. <laughs> I was cooking. Yep, racing Richmond, Virginia tonight. Okay. That, that's a small track, isn't it? Is that still a small track? Smaller track? I know they've redone a lot of tracks recently. Yeah. One in LA is getting done redone. I keep up on it a little bit, as much as I can. Thriving and Vicious Warriors. Nice. Hello. How do you guys approach grocery stores and ask if they can put your products there? If my question makes sense, and you guys do an order-based pay or sales-based pay. Yes. All right. So step one, talk to your produce manager because they're going to point you in the right direction if they're not the one in charge. So always speak with the produce manager. Either make a warm lead by calling ahead or surprise them up to you, whatever you're more comfortable with. They're going to be the ones that are going to point you in the right direction. Um, and then for... A lot of times they can make the decision. Yeah. A lot of times they make the decision. If they have a local focus on their stores that produce manager can decide if they want to bring something in. Um, for pay, we do net 30. Um, they purchase the product. We do not do consignment. We do not do, um, we don't negotiate like how many are lost or anything like that. We don't do credits back. Um, but we have established a reputation for having quality products and they know that they're not going to have a huge shrink. Shrink is what they lose that they do not sell. Um, they know they're not going to have a bunch of shrinks, so they can comfortably purchase the product from us and sell it um, with minimal loss. They're going to make money, and they know it. But we do have a good video on this channel of how to get into grocery stores. Yes. Uh, you can look that up. Um, just all you got to do is go on our channel and type in grocery stores and it's probably going to pop up for you yeah let's say we went through and did a pretty thorough video on grocery yeah, yeah you're welcome thriving tokyo garden beat hello from tokyo hey. hello i don't think i've talked to anybody from tokyo on the channel no i've talked to people in tokyo before but not on this channel so welcome glad to have you here uh i'm a migraine grower out here selling to restaurants around the city it's been an interesting experience over the last year of adopting at the local markets. Yeah. Very cool. Hey, and speaking of that, you're not, that you're from Tokyo. I'm trying to get all 50 people, one, one person from me, at least every state in America, since we're in America, and then one person from every country into our free school group. Yes. Uh, so I don't have anybody from Japan in there, Tokyo specifically. So I would love to have you over in our free school group. Uh, the 
up top, it's school.com slash growth bites instead of microgreens. And that is a completely 100% free group, free community you can get into. So I would love to see you over there and everybody else as well. Uh, Thriving, uh, I don't think you're over there. Um, so if you guys want to go over there, you can go deeper. We got our resources sheets. We got everything over there. All that stuff, uh, it's all for free to help you out. So I would love to see you guys over there. So tons of information on the tons of information group. over there. I can probably pin a comment real quick. Yeah. Do that. I'll pin a comment for you guys. And there's a Dan there. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, yes. Well, of course. Dan is awesome. He's a really great contributor to the group. I'm over there and talk a lot. <laughs> hey, we love good conversation. Yes. Conversation wants to keep things going. Oh, that was not helpful. Oh, thanks, Dan. Appreciate that. Best free group you ever be part of. Oh, thanks, Dan. I will pin that message there. Perfect. But while we're live today, I obviously ask questions. Um, love to talk to all of you while we're here. Yeah, we'll be here for a while. We'll be here for a few hours. At least half a day. Being weird. What? Oh, this is. Hmm. They're always weird. This I don't think that one's middle buttons down. That's what it is. But yeah, Japan's one of the countries I want to go visit when I get time in 15 years. Time. Have you ever grown thyme, my greens? Uh, not as a micro. I've not as a thyme. micro, not yet. I've grown thyme. It takes yep. a lot of time. It does take a lot of time. Time takes, takes a lot of time. <laughs> Time takes time and patience. It takes forever to germinate, I think, in my experience. I think the same time with the, it's a long grow for if for a micro probably too. So yeah. it takes a while to germinate. Someday I want to experiment with stuff like that and just try it, you know, again. We, we've done it in the past when we had space, but. We are completely out of shelf space. We actually probably need to get another tra shelf or two. We got 30 shelves in here now. I probably need to find room to get another couple at least in here. Play a row of three on the wall. Recently dialed in a solid recipe for it. Awesome. Ooh. I'm sure some people will be interested for in that. So, like, you join our group over there. You know, you definitely can push, share it. Share that over there. We love sharing information, especially when we have a grow that's like uh, unique. Unique, yeah. Want to make sure everybody is able to do it well and not fail yes. forward like we do. 
always failing forward, right? Good thing about a great community like that one there, everybody's helping everybody. They're always in there helping each other, talking. A lot of times they answer questions before I get a chance to. So yeah, it's great. Love it. Eighteen day grow overall. That's not bad. That's not terrible. Maybe I had some really slow Found time. Found a feed that got me three day germination. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Yeah. So I was just thinking maybe I would have just like the wrong seed for that. Probably. But mine was again designed for outdoors. Outdoors. So definitely something um, to check out. Dan just added another rack for germination. Hey. Awesome. That's awesome, Dan. Dan's been having some really huge success with his early beginnings of microgreens yes. business. Love it. Love to share the recipe for sure. Yeah, awesome. We'd love to see it. That's a great thing about that community. You can share stuff like that. You can post pictures in there, um, videos in there. A lot of great things in that school group. Different soil, there's like a slight amount of moisture towards the middle of this tray. So we're going to leave them open for a little bit. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. They're not wet, but they're not dry. You are not a pea. <laughs> Is it a wheat grass? Yep. So I noticed that a lot in the Haas. Um, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was my bad at first, and then I like this round. I was like very meticulous, but making sure they were separate. There was no possible way they ever got in there, and then they still were there. So they must be in the seed. Yes. I was like, man, I got a lot of wheatgrass mixed in there. Oh, what's wrong? And I found that it wasn't me. I have like five notifications over in the school group right now, but no new members yet. And in that school group, we post uh, in a, the calendar as well uh, where we're going live, when we're doing things, all that stuff. And we have a free Q&A coming up uh, on the 4th? Tuesday. Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. This coming Thursday. Uh, we have a free live Q&A for the group. So that's exciting. You don't have to pay anything for it, and you get to come and do live Q&As. Ask your questions. Hang out. Whatever. Ain't nobody else doing that. Definitely not for free. Not for free. All you gotta do is be part of the group. I'm trying to figure out we have to get an interactive map on there. I actually have a bookmark on that okay. on my tabs because I found one uh, run by Google, but okay. I just have to figure out how to make it where they can input. I'm where sure there's can. a way. Yeah. I'm sure there's a way. There's always a way. Uh -huh.
And if we can get a uh, time to grow in 18 days, it'd be worth growing. Yeah. So what was the total ounces I need for peace? That's curious. Um, I didn't print that part. It was a thousand. Yeah, so two. Plus two thirty-five. I can tell you. So we have five sixty-six. Two plus two thirty five, one thousand three hundred and sixty seven ounces of peas. Oh, you fine. Good stuff. Just join the group. All right, let awesome. me check. Can go approve that real quick. Boom. Dragon Grower in Tokyo, Japan. Yep, you too. Nice, perfect. You are in. Just approved you. Thank you. Welcome to the group. Welcome. Make sure you go on there and put an introduction post and uh, tell everybody who you are, what you're there, what you've done, whatever you want to do. Just say hello. Just say hey. So everybody knows who you are. Got a really great group in there, though. And we'll get quite a few people to come in and welcome you. I'm sure Dan will be one of them. <laughs> Dan's awesome like that. Uh, mentally dope. Happy Easter. A win so far? Yay. Good morning, Mentally Dope. How are you? What's the win? What's the win? I need to hear what the win is. And if you're in our group, uh, on the school group, you can always put wins in there yes. so everybody can celebrate them with you. It helps motivate everybody in there, makes everybody better. Don't think you're ever bragging or anything like that. It's, it, it helps people tremendously. We love seeing other people succeed too. We now have 87 members in that group. We're trying to get to 100 is the goal right now. I would love to try if we could get, I know it probably isn't going to happen, but you know, if we could get to 100 before Thursday's meeting, that'd be awesome. Yeah.
go all winter long with no snow. Now, Wednesday and Thursday, we got two to three feet coming. What? Whoa. No. That's not good. Not feet. We don't like measuring snow with feet. We do not like measuring snow in feet. That's definitely not my kind of snow. My kind of snow is the stuff that comes. And it gone an hour. Cute, and then like an hour later, it's gone. <laughs> Max. And anybody that's on here, if it's not part of our group yet, we have that special offer, $79. Uh, to join the group, you get the marketing course, you get everything as long as you're a member at that $79. It's normally $97 and it doesn't even include the marketing course. Uh, the marketing course is just a bonus. We're doing that sale ends today at midnight. The $79 goes away. $79 is still going to be there. I'm going to leave that one up for a couple of weeks. Maybe, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Depends on how many people take advantage of it. But. The $79 with the marketing course and everything we do, all the weekly Q&As, all that stuff, won't be part of that. Uh, the weekly q and a still will be part of it, but the marketing course will not be uh, some other things. So you want to jump on that. That is a still of a deal. Yeah, the marketing course right now, we're doing every week, um, working through a full marketing campaign, all the pieces of marketing, um, and really trying to focus on building a good foundation for your businesses. Um, so marketing is more than just, you know, ads. Yeah. So our goal is to really build a solid brand and give people awareness and really push your business to another level beyond just selling. And you get into our free school group, you'll see people commenting on how great it is and all that stuff and everything. Uh, yeah. So it's not me just saying it. Really good core group in there. I think I've only gotten one homework assignment back yet so far, though, from the marketing. I think there was two people that posted. Is it two? In there. I saw one at least two that night. put in there. Did their homework. Uh, first seeds for my son gets to be a dad, be at dad's, be at dad's. So I'm looking forward to the holiday, never being able to celebrate with him. He's about to take a nap after all. It was a long, fun morning. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really great. I remember when I was your little and we did all that crazy, huge celebration, Easter hunts and oh, yeah. all the chaos of it all. We did all that. We did all that. Now I can't get them all in one place. <laughs> yeah. It's like wrangling cats. Right oh, now. the other day on our way home, when we left here, they so, were all going out together, traveling in the same car. The daughter back from college and all the boys and everything. So that was that was good. I, I love seeing that. Love seeing that. It was kind of funny, though, because we came home to an empty house. Yeah. Like none of them were home because they were all together. Past midnight here, so um, yeah, you're up late, yeah, yeah. Good thing about all the stuff in the course stuff, it, it it's evergreen, it stays there. Yeah. You can watch it anytime. Anytime. Got any questions that you need answered? We can answer them from the chat, or we can uh, answer them during a during Q &A. the Q and A that you can watch again later. Yep, always repost things for you guys. So if you can't make something live, we always have it posted for later. Yep, have a good one. Have an amazing night. Nancy Dope will be listening and cooking. Love it. Doing some cooking today. Love it. I do not know what we're doing for food today. Uh, that's an excellent question, sir. sir. Most things are going to be closed. Most of the things are going to be closed. I think I have some chicken in the fridge. We'll probably do a grilled chicken 
salad. salad. Surrounded by greens, eating greens. All the awesome. Greens. I'm looking forward to his evolution of his life. Proud of you guys thank making you. it happen. No, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was scrolling through my old messages on. Oops. Huh? Dan. Oh. <laughs> How's your yield on them? Um, 18. So not mm. terrible. I mean, a little less, but not as bad as it could be, I think. That's what I assumed it would probably be 20%. Yeah. About twenty percent less. No message on messenger, and I got someone talking with you from twenty twenty two under your personal Facebook. Oh wow! Back in the day. I like, never see my personal Facebook anymore. I never even look at it hardly anymore. Like people will message me on there and I'm like, guys, I am not ever on there. If you want to catch me, catch me on school. YouTube comments, things like that. Things like that. Oh, yeah, there's none. There's open. none over there, I got right? All, yep, yep. Okay. I got them all from over there. I was just making sure. I didn't remember. That was three hours ago. You just sent me something in my email. Yeah. Email. I see those most of the time. I usually make sure people like are very specific with their subject line. So I know exactly what emails I need to look at. I'm probably going to need a little whiteboard. Yeah. Write down how many I've done. How many are at? Because I'm not going to be able to stack 566. So I haven't mm. even set out here to No. So. That's very true. Yeah, you can get a whiteboard over here. I'll share with you. Almost three cases of packaging for peas. Just for the peas. I only have 372 radishes to do. That's, That's all. Rookie numbers. Rookie numbers. I'll make it better.
and print labels. So he's going to print labels as he goes. Yeah. All right, babies, we're going to have to start closing up. Hey, Matt, how are you, man? Long time no talk. Matt Nino. Oh, <laughs> long time no see, yeah. Chickens. Chickens. Someone feed them some snacks already, man. Great episode last night with Matt on. Yes, yeah, so the podcast. Miss the podcast, the microgreen thumbcast. Definitely go back and watch that. Totally worth it. Matt has some really, really awesome ideas that he is giving some really great proof of concept with. Great results. So excited about that. Really gave, I think everybody watching that took something major away from the podcast. Mm, no, don't like it. Oh. I'll try to see if I could stack 15 high. No. no. No, they do not like that. Yes, so I got two hospitals and four walk-in care is when with a bunch of doctor's offices within 15 minutes. Yep. New plan, huh? Whole new sales outlet. Yeah. Got eight trays. I got fifty plus twenty-two seventy-two. I do not. I heard a whole bunch of numbers. I didn't know. Yeah, I'm gonna math. I'm gonna math because I can't saying, math. So I'm trying to make sure I know my yields yep. for these because they are a little different this week. Eight trays, 18 ounces. Oh my god, almost. Okay.
Carl. Before we forget. Before we forget, yeah. Definitely. And you end up packing all the radishes. Yeah. At this point, we just packed everything. Huh? Don't leave anything. Oh, just yeah. Just everything. All right, there's 60 peas over. Eventually, Joe, if you had a great podcast last night, great reminder to think outside the box. Yep. For sure. Yep, things I never thought of. That's for sure. Well, you think about it and you're like, nah, that wouldn't work. And then. Oh, how would that work? How would that work? <laughs> and he figured out the how. Yeah.
He didn't want to. I'm assuming we'll need to take a break around noonish, so I can print some labels while we eat. Yeah, I was thinking. Pretty much print labels of what we got. I don't know. Peas, radishes, whatever else. Peas, radishes, sunflower. Yeah, sunflower. I need to change the toner if we get to sunflower, but. Yeah. Use every bit we got. Yep. Mm. I was like, well, peas and radishes won't take up any toner. Office people will deliver, you said? Same day delivery? Hmm? So I think it will deliver. They do free delivery yeah. for the business, blah, blah, blah stuff. I found out about that. I was like, cool. Did not know that. Yeah, probably should get it ordered today. Do that. Uh, I just, I, do they have labels there in case we are out of labels? Should I'd be okay. To but... See, but probably. Just kind of want to make sure we have everything we need instead of making multiple orders. Yeah.
I can smell a lot of trays needing to be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Cost three, three for a dollar. Three for a dollar. Whew. Price is going down. Getting value out of this. Man, we hold out long enough. We might get a free tray washer. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, you know, this 600 trays being in germination plus whatever, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 toppers on them. Yeah. Um, so. That's at least 1,300 trays that need cleaned. That'd be, that'd be good pay, though. Yeah. Got to pay for travel time. Travel time. Can't be any worse than the USEA <laughs> and their travel time. Yeah. $150 an hour? $155 an hour. Yeah. Did you know that's what you pay the USDA if they have to come do your gas certification? $155 an hour. Yeah. They got jokes. Well, eventually yeah. we're going to have to pay them that. Eventually. Because we need to get that certification. Really good. You can get that certification done probably in May. Yeah. Get that done in May. And then get the distributors all set up for July. So when this orders are done, we can roll right into them. Yeah. Or we can just add more space. Yeah. More racks. Just add more. Build racks. a second level. <laughs> On the second floor. They do make mezzanines for warehouses. Oh, the train is immensely more comfortable than it is. On your feet? Air. Oh, air. Yeah. And my feet feel better, too. But, you know, we got the air says right plus that fan. That well, it's pretty good here, even though it's going down that aisle. It hits me pretty good. Oh, that fan's got some kick to it. Yeah. He's, he's so we need some one. more of them. Yeah. I need to fix the one that's in the office right now to bring in this way. Hey, if you hold out long enough mentally dope when uh, that kid goes to college, maybe. I don't know what he's doing yet. <clears throat> I might I need a tray really washer. need a tray washer. <laughs> <laughs> if he does go, I don't, it's not a might. I, I will need somebody. Yeah. I will need to hire somebody. Yeah, I don't think that's physically possible by the hours in the day to be, yeah. be able to do that no. and everything else that we do. Yeah. You know, minor details. We don't stay busy at all. Maybe if I build something Joe, like Joe's got. Yeah. Reminds me, I was going to call Doc. Or... A conveyor. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts, Doc?
my stuff up. Huh? I'm beating my stuff up. Don't do that. Smack my scale with my knife. Beating them up. So is YouTube doing that every two minutes yesterday? Yeah, that's what he was saying. And I, I have it set to because you said something conservative. It was balanced. I went in and changed it to conservative. Yeah. While we were alive. Yeah, because the default now is aggressive. Yeah, it's crazy. They, like, they're really bro, trying to get you ads. Y'all need to calm down on these ads. Yeah, the default setting was aggressive. I moved it down to balance. Was that really balance? That makes sense. Welcome in, everybody. I see we got some more people joining. Welcome to Sunday's Harvest. Today is the biggest harvest we've ever done. Harvesting near 600 trays in the next day, two days. So taking you along for the ride. Say hi. We don't mind talking while we work. That's right. She gets tired of talking to me. So if you can talk to her, she'd like that. We usually work in silence. <laughs> Not today. Haven't had one today. No, Ed, you didn't monetize it, did you? Yeah, I did. I put it as conservative, though. Mm -hmm. See? I think YouTube's just in a mood. Sometimes they're in a mood. Don't know. Don't understand them half the time, so. Yeah. Can't be any worse than Meta. Yeah. Nothing is worse than Meta. Meta is the worst. That's the reason why I'm getting everything off of Beta and going to school group. And having the free community over there to connect with people because I'm not a big fan of Meta anymore. Nope. And yes, I am streaming on there right now, but. Nope, you're not because it failed. Did it fail? Oh, yep. I'm on the X. It's right. On it failed. The X. I'm on Meta X like, and LinkedIn. Failed to post. So we're on, yeah, LinkedIn and X. And LinkedIn only lets me stream for four hours, though. <laughs> when we hit the four hour point, it's like, no, no more. No more. You done. No normal humanly streams for four hours. Twelve trays of ninety-three down. Haven't really gotten a response from that one yet. Hmm. He was home before his sister, and she woke up already. Hmm. She's like a machine, though. I don't understand that one. You need a point at some point, she doesn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. She'll hit that. She'll disappear. About a week. Even like, oh, I thought, where'd you go? Needed to recharge. Personality, mm -hmm. everybody can just get a hold of you. Back then, they'd have to come to your house. So. Yes, they did. You were the one that was hiding. You were hiding. Very much hiding. Mm -hmm. yep. 
Any questions or anything? Put them in the chat, comments. Want to talk about anything? We're up for it. As long as it's nothing controversial or anything like that. I don't offer dating advice. No dating advice, so. I'm out of, I'm, we've been out of that loop for a long time, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> long time. <laughs> I would not be very helpful, guys. Dan, tomorrow's the 18th anniversary. Awesome. awesome. So this isn't micro harmony doing. Yeah. Nicole, don't. That's funny. Micro harmony. Yeah. You know, I'm, sometimes we have people come on here and ask that stuff. To be honest, like it, it, it happens. It happens. <laughs> so. Like you know, they can't help you there. It seems like TikTok does that more. Oh, TikTok. TikTok sure. TikTok's just full of that. TikTok, it was on YouTube short speeds. They're doing it. Yeah. They were on YouTube shorts, especially, yeah, on the shorts side. TikTok had a controversy about influencers who are trad wives. Did you know what trad wife means? I didn't. It means traditional housewife. And oh. that's apparently controversial. That's controversial. Uh, yep, yep. Yep. Trad wives controversy. Okay. It was like, what is what? Like Dan, you got married on April Fool's Day? That's funny. I didn't even catch that. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, weird feeling. Not so much now. <laughs> uh, Whose ideal is that? Sometimes uh, it just happens. It just happens. <laughs> We got married at the courthouse, so. Our wedding date was determined on, when can you marry us? When am I off work? Yeah. When am I off work? When I, can, I, can I take a three-day weekend to take a honeymoon-ish? Ish. Hey, okay, counted. Went on a trip, didn't have kids with us. Hey. Mm -hmm. I'm really bad at planning things, guys, and I definitely was not married before we had kids because I really am bad at planning things. She just didn't want to marry me, what it was. Right. I just didn't want to plan a wedding. That's a lot of work, which it wasn't because my family stepped in and really, they were tired of waiting. Yeah. <laughs> Our families were tired of waiting for the wedding. And it's been 20, 21 year, 20 years, 21? It was 03? Yeah. Fun time, Sam. 
be 21 this year. Okay, it's up. My bad, I forgot to text back. Ciao. That sounds about right. She usually means he's sleeping. Um, up to 100 peas done. Hey. 466 more to go. That's all. No biggie. Gotcha. No hurry, I got time. <laughs> Not going anywhere. And happy anniversary, by the way, Dan. Yeah. I didn't say that. Very happy anniversary.
uh, receiving notes. Receiving notes. And times and stuff before. Yes. All packages delivered for that. We'll keep that door locked up front. Nobody else will be coming through it. So. Yeah. <clears throat> And then receiving hours on the doors. No Tuesday, no Wednesday. Yeah. I ain't gonna be here, y'all. I'm not gonna be here. Happy anniversary, Dan. Marriage, they say, is the second hardest job besides keeping a family together. I see you. Good job. <laughs> Never been married. Probably won't since this is, since, since I thought this was a micro harmony, but I was mistaken. I'll stay. <laughs> I'll still Sorry. stay. <laughs> Sorry, man. Can't get your worst trays and no dating advice. Well, you're not very helpful. <laughs> Thank you. 
You almost made it through a full rack of them. Mm -hmm. I had some cars on it too, so. Yeah. We're not going to talk about that part, but it's full rack of things we've got. Yep. Three hours ish. How do we want to organize Micah's zone of putting things in lock crates? He needs to. Uh... Like he can box the stuff that needs to be boxed. boxed. And once it's boxed, he puts it in there. Yeah. But we need to make sure we get the orders put in first for tomorrow. You know, like, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It all has to be done today and tomorrow. So. Yeah. And the boxes will go and start to stick them on the right hand side corner. Of the cooler. Nope, where the cooler once goes. they're loaded. Once yeah. that box is loaded. So I guess you just do all the boxes first. Yeah. Like, because those radishes, I those ones have to be stores. Stores, yeah. But other than that, he could do boxes first. Set those to the side somewhere. Because you don't have sheets and stuff ready for him mm. either. Yeah, I just got to print those off and. 
and we need because it's going to take multiple crates for some of them so how are you going to label them so we know yeah like the bigger stores will take multiple crates we need to figure out how many they're going to take on average and that just be their crates and put label inside of them yeah all the champagne whatever you know yeah <clears throat> Oh, they have enough crates we can just have all the stores done. Packed away. Yeah. And then you can stack them on top of each other. You know, like harvest, you know, whatever's on the two space can be stacked all the way up or whatever. Yeah. Just don't intertwine Tuesday and Wednesdays. Yeah. And hope it all fits. And then hope it all fits. Yeah. Because looking at the boxes. Yeah. I see where you're coming from there. I am picking up what you're putting down there, sir. All the way to the top. To the top. <laughs> oh, good time. So about that plug. That's what I was just thinking. Three for unit plug. Um, I mean, because honestly, like, if we, we wouldn't even need the water. Yeah. Because it probably all fit on the truck. True. And you just have the reaper unit running when you go to pack it and you have it backed up there and you load it up. True. And then it's also loaded for the week. Done. Loaded and done at that point. If you're traveling with it, it's not a big deal. I just peed on the floor. You peed on the floor? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. <laughs> Do I see the little tinkle? There's got to be a place to buy that cork. I saw that one at Harbor Freight, but I got to figure out if it's the right one. So that's something I can pick up there. Do that on Monday before we come in. First thing in the morning. Once they sub gets loaded to the back and pack up boxes, put them on the floor. On the track. Huh? Pack up the boxes, put them on the truck. Well, you put them on the pallet, and once yeah. the pallet's full, you put it in there. Yeah. True. And then the same thing with the crates, because they'll be in the, on the pallet as well. Will we be able will we be able to build the pallet and then put it to the truck, or do we have to build it on the truck? That's no, we got the lift gate. Oh yeah, it's the lift gate. Duh. Woof. I knew that. That's one thing I was very happy to see. Yeah, <laughs> Boom. she did not say it had a lift gate, though. Very easy now. Like, <laughs> yeah. Put it on. So you build it, put it on there, put the lift gate. Like, I'd back the truck up right now and just have the lift gate down yeah. and have the door just shut as much as it can be. Yeah. If it was exactly dock height, then you could just get the stuff to go around where it backs up and it fills. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Create a walk in cooler. Yep.
All right. Off to get some more field trip. Um, it's getting a little bit more crowded. Um, here. Oh, let's turn this. Yeah. See? Totally Got fits. This. Peace. More peas. More peas. I'm going to bring that over towards you. Oh, that would probably be smarter. Um, it is 10 till. Do you want me to make lunch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably so we can, I can print labels during this. Do we want to end this or we'll come back after? Um, we can either end it or do a be right back or however you want to do it. Indeed, 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, can we um, present a video file?
I was thinking of just going to the YouTube channel. Okay. Oh, you could share the tab. Sure. Yeah. You could do something like that. All right. I will start lunch. All right, let's see what we got to do here. How do you get the sound from the video playing to go on? I'm not hearing anyone. Not on YouTube side, so don't we just go to YouTube? Mm -mm. 
So. Not on the right screen. You will. Uh, can you share us, uh, your journey in the microgreen world? What made you start with it? What was your inception of uh, needle microgreen or needle greens? I guess. Uh, what got you started? Uh, so I went to uh, YouTube actually when I was at a job, corporate world. I was there for about two years. <laughs> yeah, I was really really into it there. And I, uh, <laughs> I uh, was looking at videos and I saw microgreens and I have a green. Um, at least I thought I did, and I uh, started to get interested and interested. And I was like, "Wow, ten days! Well, I got ten days. Let me see if I'm gonna get at this." And then I grew my first, you know, ten by twenty. I was like, "Wow, this is this is some cool stuff." And I just loved watching the colors and um, all this chemistry come together. Really interesting to me. And then I was like, oh, "Why don't you just actually find somebody who wants to try this stuff?" I don't know if this is good or if they want to buy it and then I found two people and they bought the tray and I was like well I need to find four people and then I found four people and then I bought a, I was like you know I probably had a thousand and two dollars to my name and I bought my first rack and I think it was like nine hundred and ninety six dollars so I was like all right here we go kind of into this now <laughs> so I put everything I had into it and sold my first rack and then I was like, well, I guess I need another one. And um, my friend, great friend, Dalton, uh, uh, came out of, out of nowhere and was like, here's a thousand bucks. And I give you his where He was like, I believe in you. Got to believe. And I took that thousand dollars and ran with it and got another one. And it worked out. I was still doing my normal job. And then I uh, just told everybody I was quitting. <laughs> and they're like, why are you leaving a really nice job to do this? I'm like, because I... I think this is my calling. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I, I love it. I wake up energized. I'm not like, oh my God, I have to go to X to get a paycheck. I actually love working for myself. And there's no better uh, gratification than knowing you built something and then it works. Because there's just before it works, it doesn't. And then you you know just start getting paid for it and you're super excited. Uh, and I started doing that and it just took off from there, and it was in 2019, so I picked the perfect time to get into it, as these guys are aware, it was right during COVID, <laughs> and nobody wanted me to come to their door, so I had to start um, getting good at marketing, or getting better at marketing, because I didn't know anything about it, and I actually was getting hire a company to do it, I think they wanted to charge me like $4,500 at the time, and as I just said, I didn't have much money to, you know, keep myself going, you know, Taco Bell was like the biggest thing I could get for myself at the time. I was like, we're going out today. And then, <laughs> you know, I just started going, uh, saving a little more, saving a little more and jumped into it full, full feet. And it's just been great since then. Very blessed and very lucky because there's a lot of great companies out there that try and try and try and just for whatever numerous 
thousands of reasons some businesses fail, and I've, I've just been very fortunate. So. Well, you got the right drive. You, you know, that's that's what really takes yeah. it to the point. You got to have the drive and work through all the challenges. Which you know, no. what challenges yeah. did you have coming up when you first started? Oh, capital. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was the first one, and that's quite a challenge. Um, and then it was logistics. You know, I had to learn about okay, I need to get these seeds at these time. I had this. Um, I ended up becoming like people's personal growers at the time. So. Some people wanted cabbage, some people wanted broccoli, some people wanted salad mix. And then it grew from there, and then they found out I could grow more, and then that would change. So each person gets a different... My subscription, you can order four things from me per month. And as long as I can keep it in the restrictions of about a month and a week, then you can, you can order those from me. Otherwise, it extends too far. No one wants to wait, you know, 21 days for cilantro. They're just going to go to the neighbor's garden, take a hat, and say thank you. You know, <laughs> that's what my neighbors do. They come over. I got this giant book of cilantro. They're like, "Thank you, all right, thank you." Take off, and I just um, wanted to uh, get better at it, and I quickly did because uh, I started learning. Well, I got into Excel and then <laughs> wasn't good at that. My <laughs> wife is a speed demon at that. She looks at that stuff and is like, and I'm done. I was like, I was sitting in there for an hour. How did she? It's just like, I don't, it's done. And I get, to, and she helps me and I get to go on to my next task. And, uh, and I found out uh, getting seed to my location was hard because sometimes, um, for whatever reason, they wouldn't drop them off. So I had to actually call the post office and say, why are my seeds being delayed? And then they, I guess there was a mix-up. They didn't know where the seeds were coming from, so they couldn't confirm them because so they, they were coming from Canada at the time. Uh -huh. So once I got that past that, then everything started to flow. Because that was scary. I was like, wait, well, hold on. I've just started. I just quit my job. <laughs> kind of need this to work. <laughs> and, uh, up seeds. Yeah, I was like, yeah. kind of starting block of how this all works. So they worked with me, and uh, I got that going. I, um, my, I'd say first, second, third year was uh, was was just getting the momentum I needed because it's just me, and it was I learned that uh, I, I my motivation would work some of the time, but my discipline needed to be there every day. So I always, you know, discipline first, motivation comes second, and then once I learned that, that was kind of the key. But if, I'll tell you what, I did not have that drive before, and something switched. I guess I just wanted it more, yeah. and uh, that's what, what kept me going every day. Because there's not, there's you know, as you guys know, there's there's good weeks and bad weeks in business. So everything's sunshine and rainbows, yeah. you know. And you then you put yourself in a position. Where, you put yourself yeah. in a position where you had no backup plan. I mean, once you yeah. leave your job, yeah, you, know, you got to make uh, it fly. So sometimes that could be all the motivation you need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I don't. I just never been like a plan B type guy. I just I believe in what I'm doing, and sometimes manifest manifestation and belief and hard work sometimes equals luck, and you get it all together, and some things work come together, and it, you may make a profit from it. I had one of my best sushi restaurants. I will um, they didn't order for me for like two weeks. I was like, What's going on? And I literally called, and the guy picked up in Spanish. I'm like. Okay, well, there goes one of my bigger clients. So then I had to figure out what happened to him. Why did they shut down so quickly? And where did it go from there? And uh, it turned out that it was just a different owner. And they were switching around the restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't. So, but I didn't hear. So it's made me start watching my numbers. Because every day I think as a business you get up and look at your numbers. Because they have the horizon in front of you. And also the downfall, too. So... And if you don't watch that, you 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 hit it for doom. You know you don't want to don't want to walk that line. That was one of my biggest uh, problems and struggles, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I'm, I'm a pretty straightforward guy. You know, I that was uh, the big thing at farmers markets. I couldn't get into them at first because I didn't have. I found out I needed all these certifications. I was like, what do you mean? I don't know. All these people had all this stuff, and they got to pay all that to come over here. Wow, but I do want to shake from these guys. These guys are working hard. You know, it made me start to empathize for the farmers. And then, what I tell everybody now, that one of my 
pitches is, do you know your farmer? Yeah. A lot of people don't. I was like, well, let me be that guy. You can, you can come to my house and see it growing. Take a picture for it every day if you want. And some people are really into that. They want to see it. And then, you know, they get tired of your texts. And they're like, okay, I get it. I, I know how cabbage goes now. You can go back to work now. Like, oh, well, I love it. Don't you love it? No? All right. Here's, here's, the, here's the invoice. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. These 600 little cabbages are just for you. <laughs> yeah, look, at look at the color changes. Isn't that amazing? I don't, it's just seeds. Okay, well, all right, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody nerds out like we do. Like I know, know man. Yeah, yeah, my, da my dad calls me farm nerd. That's what my dad says. Hey, what are you doing, farm nerd? Um, I'm like, well, I'm just standing over my 10 by 20s right now doing some seeding. What are you doing, Blake? Like, seeds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. oh, and I started in um, a garage, you know, and then I learned that the garage does not hold humidity very well. Yeah. And everything started to go down on me. So I, I grow inside grow tents, and that keeps my humidity and everything at bay because California it goes up and down. Because I can, it's, you know, it's 30 miles to the ocean, but it, I live in a valley, and it changes right here. Like it's 48 degrees out here. Right now, I know it's not much for you guys on the East Coast, but I'm in California, okay? It's got to be sunny, or I'm going to complain about it, okay? Well, that's uh, one thing I was going to ask you, too, because your technique of growing is a little bit different than what everybody else is doing, you know, yeah. your grow tents, everything else, different environment, everything else. Can you expand more on how you're growing? So, um, I do the traditional 10 by 20 tray, which is obviously amazing and works, and I also do uh, flood trays. So I just, it's the same type of rack, they're big long flood trays, they go the entire length of the track, I just pump it up to the top and it's gravity fed, and it just feeds down, and I make sure that it only does, you know, about a half an inch, quarter of an inch, at least, uh, to hit the roots, and then I have it in the centers there, so it'll, it'll shut off if it goes any higher. So I run that for two minutes once a day and sometimes some plants don't need it so I can shut it off and so my phone because Andy knows we like to program stuff and make it a little bit more automated if we can and it's yeah. I'll tell you I'll be I'll be driving to go to do deliveries and I'll be like oh my god did I water that and I can look at my phone and see the camera and I'm like okay no no those are new water okay okay because they're, they're baby plants you know you gotta worry about them yeah they're babies yep. Yep. so um yeah I, I do it that way because uh it it helps me because I'm, you know, I'm just by myself. So I, I needed some sort of automation to. Uh, I need systems are what run your business. You, don't, you know, that's what that is the, the best part about it, is your systems in your business. So once I got that dialed down, it made everything so much smoother. And that's and that should go out to my uh, good friend Dalton because he was seeing me do the 10 by 20 trees every day, and he's like, man, I love. He has a great grain dump too. So he's like, I love doing this, man. But lifting those trays up every day. There's got to be a better way. And I was like, I don't think there is. Pretty sure everybody knows what they're doing. And leave it to him. And then he showed me that. And I come over, and it's just beautiful. Okay, maybe you're on to something. <laughs> and I, I started, and it was uh, it was cheaper at the time back then. It wasn't, um, it was, and the 10 by 20 trays were more. So I, was, and again, capital is a big thing for me. So I was like, well, let's try this. And it worked. And, nice. um, and I used Cocoa Core. I tried ProMix, and I wasn't as, <laughs> wasn't as diligent as I should have been about the watering, and I paid for it. And I learned, okay, I need something that has a little bit more of a leeway that's going to help me <laughs> soak up some of the water and if I can't get to it. And that really, really helped. And, uh, and it comes in square blocks, so I can stack those, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I, I, don't have, I just don't have the room. I, I had to do, you know, as I said, tenting and... You know, when you put it in an area like uh, brick and mortar, that's what I'm aspiring to be, by the way. Congratulations on your second place, buddy. Um, Thanks, man. Yeah, I, uh, I was like, well, can I, how can I make it smaller and like kind of like a brick and mortar, but without like, <laughs> having to pay somebody? You know, I just I don't have the money for it. So I was like, well, they grow these really cool tropical plants in them. That's what I need. And then I got a dehumidifier and put it in there, and it just, everything's great. So I was very happy with that solution, because I didn't have one. <laughs> and I was paying for it. 
that's what it's about in business. You learn it along the way, or you, you know, it's about endurance for me. I just got to push past it, just keep going, keep going. Perseverance, and that's, that's the only thing. I, I literally have it on my wall, perseverance, Matt. <laughs> two words, <laughs> two words, and I'm just, I'll, sometimes I'll see it, and I'm like, I can't believe I wrote that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I agree with you on systems. Yeah, systems running your business is big. I mean, we wrote what is now FarmFlow. It wasn't at the time. It was just what we called admin panel because it was just for us to use. Mm -hmm. And I built that before we even started knowing, you know, that that was going to be key in the long run, you know, because I, mm -hmm. I was always thinking way out ahead. And I thought, okay, when we start, we don't need it. But, you know, six months from now, we definitely will. And I'm not going to have as much time then as I do now you know, to build it. So literally about four years ago right now, I was throwing that together to get ready to start in May of 2020. So, mm. you know, it worked out great, but that's been huge, huge for us in the long run. So yeah, having, having that organization is big, big, yeah. big, big. Yes. Yes. And when I started, I was like, oh, I'll plant cabbage, I'll plant sunflower, and I'll plant this, and I'll plant that, and that'll be a great idea. And then I have like, no idea where these trays are. So I literally started putting different colored tape on them. <laughs> I was like, this color means this, this color means this. <laughs> One of my friends, she goes, oh, she's a preschool teacher. She's like, do you know that's how we organize stuff? That I'm all, I'm all, hey, it works, okay? Are you good? And I need this right now, okay? This system works. Yeah, the system's built for elementary school kids, right? <laughs> yeah, you know, it works for me, man. Right? You don't help me again. Yeah. Hey, uh, they tell you to, how you to teach people. You teach them on a fifth, they talk to them like they're fifth graders. So, mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, it works. Yep. It does. <laughs> mm -hmm. Andy, you got anything follow up on that? No, I mean, I, I totally agree. I, I, I love the approach. Uh, we, we toyed around with flood and drain a little bit at one point. Um, and like, I didn't, I, I don't know why. I just never wanted to do the gravity fed thing for some reason. I wanted all my trays to get filled at the same time. <laughs> and I just did not. <laughs> I mean, it was a, it was oh, a disaster. <laughs> so, yeah, but I mean, now it's like, you know, and, and Mike's in the same boat. I mean, for us to switch to that, oh, it no, would probably no, be thirty yeah, to $40,000 yeah. in, yeah. in trays oh. and parts and hoses and valves. Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. so it's it's easier to start with it and then yes. just get used to that as you grow. And then it's a lot less expense. Mm -hmm. um, it's still an expensive route to go, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just mm -hmm. overall. Because, I mean, you're going to, the flood trays alone are, about eighty to one hundred dollars a piece usually, unless you can find them used. Yep. Uh, so that's definitely an expensive option, but it can be time saving. It can allow people to take vacation and all that kind of stuff too. So it's definitely not a bad yep. idea. Uh, we just never really, I never found a system that I liked enough to where I was like, all right, this is it. Yeah, and, and <laughs> so trust we just kind of bypassed the whole thing. Trust yeah, I mean, it was just that, the, right? You're like, I'm, yeah. I know what works. I don't know if I trust this. Cause yeah, and, and my worry was like, you know, you've got Amaranth who barely wants any water, oh, yeah. you've got Tantra who barely wants it, you know, and then you've got bees who yeah. love water, Sunflower mm -hmm. loves water, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. and it's like if you're flooding the same tray with all those guys in it, is mm -hmm. that going to cause problems with one side versus the other and, and the leaks out of the hoses? And it was just, I was like, no. You're like, no. Like, yeah. <laughs> so we backed out of it entirely. But and we did just... start with Quar. I mean, we used yeah, to use Coco did. Quar and then we switched to the Coco Loco in the long run. So oh. I love that. Coco Loco awesome. for yeah, the check it out for sure. Box Coco Farms Coco Loco. It's soil and Coco Core. So it's got all the nutrients. Oh, wow. You don't have to give them any oh. additional nutrients and you get that moisture retention. So definitely try that one out if you can find Ooh. it in your area, which you should. I think they're in California. Yeah, I'm yeah right. <laughs> Probably drive down the street passing it every day. I wonder if I should go in there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you should. Yes, you definitely should. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Fox, Fox Farms Coco Loco. It's good stuff. Okay. And they are not sponsoring in any way, shape, or form. Yeah. Everybody always tells me I should. I give them a lot of money. Those guys. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I know I've sold a t probably tens of thousands of bags. <laughs> I just went through three bags Fox yesterday. Farms. So. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Every week now. Every week. So. Wow. Yep. 24, sorry. Yeah. I was corrected by the producer. 24. <laughs> yeah, either way. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot. But yeah, if you're out there listening, Fox Farms, sponsor yeah. our podcast. This is our podcast. We can put you right up over here. Yeah. These two guys. Yeah. These two guys. Right here. <laughs> we can put you right in the center, right, right where, yeah. wherever Matt is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, all right.
All right, Matt, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, you got some unique places that you sell to and some done, oh, yeah. done some unique things that is totally, I would think, far out of the box that no, most people won't even think about. So uh, can you talk yeah. a little bit about how you're going about selling in your unique ways? Uh, and before you start, I'm going to tell people, get a pen and paper out for real. <laughs> a rewind. Uh, you're, about to, you're about to be schooled on something that you would never even thought about. So oh, you guys <laughs> that's why so we brought nice, Matt on. Right? He, does, he has a very unique I, approach. <laughs> oh, super. Thank you. That's super humbling, you guys. Um, I, so what I do is different, as I said. Uh, so I go to schools, but I work with uh, teachers, and the teachers are the best uh, in my opinion, best buyers you can get because they're at one location at one point and they know the culture change and they know it's coming and they're on the forefront of it and they often speak to the students and their uh, parents. So you have an opportunity there to not only uh, gain a client but also through the greatness of that teacher, hopefully it's a good teacher, will spread that to the awareness of the kids who tell their parents and maybe they'll you know, and that's really how it's uh, come to be. It's word of mouth for me. So I got, went to one school and got some teachers and I was telling these guys, uh, the teacher was like, oh, I really like them. Why don't you uh, come talk to me and make a little uh, a class and talk to us? I'm like, great. I got to go in front of people and they're going to all stare at me. I got to talk about microgreens. I think one of you has even better heard of this before. I'm like, okay. And I show up there, there's nervous, there's probably, you know, not more. And I am now talking about these big heads of the game. I uh, I showed up and uh, <laughs> they, you know, all looking at me and it's just that quiet sound. I'm like, oh, this is part why I talk today. I just started talking about microgreens and why I wanted to do it. And then my incentive, um, so incentivizing your customers or who you want to you work with is big. And it can be, you can, you can go the extra amount or you can just go something that fits for them. So what fits with schools is uh, scholarships uh, and the way I got that is for every sale that we had a percentage of it will go to the school and they'll get a uh, scholarship and that can go to the student of their choice to help them further their education whichever they choose and I think there's a lot of kids out there that just need a little help I certainly was, was one of those kids who could use a little you know kick in the butt or an extra buck to help me go along my way and uh, um, I would like to be the change, you know. You hear about people doing it, but I would like to actually know. There's some something I did may encourage the next kid to start, uh, you know, maybe the biggest microgreens business we've ever seen. Who knows, you know? And just school me and the bus one day about how to do it. I'd love to see that. I don't. I think it's uh, negative to try and stop other businesses, even if they're in your same business, uh, with with bad connotation towards their work, because we're all in this together. There's plenty enough customers for us all. Um, so when you talk to one teacher, they talk to another teacher, and then those teachers talk to other schools. So I started at a seventh to ninth grade school, and then then I got to a high school, and then we went to an elementary, and then I ran into the district supervisor, and that changed the game for me. And that took some time. Like I had to go, <laughs> I had to go in there twice. One day during, I literally picked the worst time. By the way, I picked a fire alarm. I picked a fire alarm day. And the supervisor was coming out. And the last thing this guy wants to hear about is freaking microgreens. So I just waited. You know, I just waited in the office and I made a joke for him. I was, I was like, man, I was sitting here waiting for the district officer. It felt like I'm back at school again waiting for a teacher <laughs> to come in here and talk to me. And we right off the bat, we were joking. And I said, listen, I'm, I'll be short with it. I'm, uh, I'm a humble microgreens grower. I'm local. As you know, the teachers have uh, buy from me. I said, are you, um, are you open to the idea of uh, having vending machines with uh, healthy options in it, like all the different types of waters and microgreens and whatever you school chooses to fit? And they were liking the idea, they thought, but they didn't know how kids would be into it. Uh, and I said, I'll put a $25 Amazon card on the bottom of one of these cans or waters and whoever gets it that much, it's not going to be the same person every time. And they get it. And then from those sales, again, we'll make a scholarship. So everyone wins wins here. I gain customers, I gain your trust. They learn about microgreens. And if you guys want, I'll come and show these kids how to how to grow it. 
not hard. They could take over. They could literally grow enough food to support a neighborhood if they just knew what they were doing. And that's where I was like, imagine if six kids in six different neighborhoods knew how to grow more food than everybody in the room. And I was like, and there's only 3% of us. 3% of us are farmers in this nation. I was like, that's got to, that's got to increase. And like, we can all disagree on a lot of things, but what we don't disagree on is food. There's got to be more food. And there's not enough people growing it. And so you start connecting on these little dots, and it helps draw the bigger picture for people. And it's hard to do that sometimes with microgreens because it is a niche, and you know people are aware of it. And it be, once you um, bring them up to date with what you're trying to do and how you're trying to sell it, and, and it sounds as bad you're trying to sell it, but you're offering a solution to because these kids don't have. Um, any solution to look at gardening anymore. It's just it's in there. It's an ag class. And I was like one of the kids who took ag. You know, everyone else took chemistry because you were given the choice. And it's not as bad. Again, it's just what I took. And I didn't even start growing until 18 years later. So even if I took it. <laughs> but I would, I'm hoping one of those kids is like, man, this could be it. Why can't we do this? Because you can grow and make money from this and have a nice living if you go after it. And um, I started going to a hard route of uh, getting vending machines, and that took some learning curves because there's vending machines that you can rent, there's vending machines you can loan and buy. The schools often have them, so you can just fill them. And if they're willing to give up a Gatorade section because they find out that a Gatorade has all the sugar in it and stuff, a lot of people aren't aware of like the stuff that's in their everyday stuff. I love Oreos. I just found out they're not even allowed in the United States. Like, they, I mean, in, in the EU, they, they're, they're banned. I'm like, what? But they're so. And then, you know, I started asking myself, but why are they banned? I'm like, and then I'm just staring at this beautiful box of Oreos that I can't eat anymore because <laughs> the entire country has said this is bad. So, <laughs> like, okay, I, all right, well, uh, I'll go back to eating broccoli, I guess. Yeah, that can yeah. Eat rabbit hole if you start searching a lot of things that are banned other places and finding out I, why it, uh, yeah. Skittles? It yeah. Skittles? that's a rabbit hole you can go down <laughs> oh my god yeah. oh. But anyways uh, I so I stuck to the teachers and I ran into the district uh, supervisor and that worked out and then uh, my friend uh, had uh, worked at Sony building um, a while back and I got in there, talked to them, and they had a food court. And that opened up my world that big businesses inside there have food courts. And if you can get in and make a viable solution for people, something that's it's quick, because these guys are on the go and they got a lot of meetings to get to, and they have a pretty quick pace. I'm sure Andy could speak to that. When you've got a lot of stuff going on in projects and things, you haven't really got time to go, well, what do I want to eat today? You know, what's yeah. awesome? You're like, what is that? Give it to me. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, that worked and it just kind of grew and then it became sustainable and then once I noticed again the numbers were starting to come in I was like wow this is working okay uh, all right so, and then, and then I, I paused myself because I'm always worried about when you hit that you plateau you know your front's working it's that vulnerability right there where you kind of got to go back up again you got to look for the next thing and I was like oh my mom's a naturopathic doctor I should start talking to more of a naturopathic doctor because there are they they speak my language most of them want it and there's I'm in San Diego so there's quite a few health uh, related uh, functions out here as well that you can go to and meet people in that in that world and a lot of them are naturopathic doctors and they want to talk to you and they'll take your products and then if they're kind enough to let you in there you're gonna need a mini fridge let me tell you people a mini fridge you're gonna need like six of them because some some of them will just stop working on days where you really need them to work. And that's not cool. <laughs> and you got to drive 30 miles to replace a mini fridge that you don't even want in the first place. <laughs> so I uh, got in there, and then um, I started going, well, everyone's going to restaurants. It's, it's, you know, and I have plenty of things to work on, and, uh, posting for them. Um, but restaurants, I couldn't get in too many. And then I started going to sushi restaurants. And I started looking at what they decorate everything with camera broccoli, it's uh, purple cabbage, it's uh, sometimes agnostic yellow uh, mustard. It's kind of fine dining on top of the plate. And uh, I was like, well, I grow this. 
so I brought in um, sample after sample after sample until I literally ran in to the owner who kept getting these microgreens boxes and, could, and just, where are these coming from? <laughs> like, I come in and he's like yelling at the lady because they're in the, I, put, I would put them in the freezer area. I said, oh, well, he'll see them. And he called him and then he called me and he, <laughs> then he was like, I was mad, but then I tried them. Do you have time to meet? I was like, oh, yes. I do have time to meet. He's like, when? I'm all right now. He's like, good. That's all the time I have. <laughs> <laughs> and thank God it was not even like two miles down the street and I got in there and had a great relationship since and nice. he's also very fluent in business so he's helped me along the way so again you open up guys who are in the business and then you learn from them as long as you're open to it um, that's, you start learning little tricks of the trade that you didn't even know were there or you, you may see them in front of you every day but you're not aware of them yeah. it's those little tricks that, that help you um, exponential growth, you know, instead of linear, because we don't, linear is death. Yes. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Linear will drop at some point, and you will just die. Mm-hmm. What does uh, Gary Vaynerchuk say? Uh, innovate or die. Yep. Yeah, so, I often have to tell myself that, because I'm like, we're not doing anything today, Matt, like, come on, we've got to innovate, we've got to do something, we can, we can, we can, we're sitting here at the computer, we can work on marketing, and, uh, and Google marketing, man, that has worked insanely well for me. And YouTube and Instagram, just little 30 second stories and geographs from my little area. I couldn't, I, when I started that, I didn't think it was going to work, but my goodness, I got, I started from maybe 2,000 views and then I got 21,000 views. It's like, what? Uh, I was like, could like two of you maybe buy some things? Two percent of you start buying some stuff. <laughs> I don't need. I mean, I don't. I want followers, but this doesn't transfer to funds. I need funds, or I can't take these cool pictures that everybody else is doing. You know, they got nice cameras and stuff. I'm over here talking with earbuds. These guys, look at, they got nice stuff. <laughs> Podcast experts. <laughs> yeah, look at. <laughs> Only because of this. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, though, like no other you, reason. You said, Matt, followers doesn't mean money. Like I know people yeah. who have millions of followers on like TikTok and other things, yeah. and make almost zero dollars because they do not know how to monetize their business mm-hmm. that they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so followers doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get anything. So you no. got to go out and still sell to get in front. Yeah, of them. yes, and I'm um, and I'll be the first to tell you I'm not good at posting stuff. So I'm just as my <laughs> friends always tell me, you're always doing cool stuff. They have a picture. I'm like, is it? And then people <laughs> love it. I'm like, okay, I gotta. I gotta get better at this. I gotta get posting stuff. Then I'm at the end of my day going, "What was I supposed to post? Post, post. <laughs> you know." Um, and uh, that that getting to the district, like going back to the school stuff. When you get in front of someone of that measure, you better be ready because they're gonna ask you some hardcore questions, and you can't you can't just dilly dally direct answers is what you want because they they're district supervisors whatever you're doing today is not going to help they're not going to think about it today they got stuff on their plate already tomorrow is where they're going to have time to marinate on your discussion so hopefully it sits long enough for them to make a decision when sometimes you're going to have to call them back or bug them again i had i had a uh, a juice place that i I went in there and learned that not every place you go to that, that you can work with deserves a business. Because you can go in a place that, um, like a juice place, and then how they treat their customers is, is a reflection of how they're going to treat you and the business that you're going to offer. You know, you're affiliated with them now. So, you know, say the customer has a bad day and Needham Greens is on the bottom of the menu, it doesn't even matter if they had a bad day. They may look up and say, bad day and go Needham Greens, and then you're they had a bad day, and you're with that name. I don't want that. Yeah. So I learned very, very quick that not every place is a, if they can sell it, doesn't mean they, sh- they, they should, you know. There's one place you, you can find it. Yeah. So it's, uh, you have to be selective, but also when I started, I would have picked some, if someone had a barn and a fridge and they wanted, <laughs> I would have just been like, here, can I sell <laughs> it out of this? Please, I'll, I'll, I'll get a, I'll, please give me money. <laughs> please, yes, you know, so. I, I have the option now, but I, but again, there's many times where I can't be selected. Yeah, you've got to gotta pick your battle. Instead of talking there's to day, there's days where I want to not, there's days where I don't want to market, you know, I don't want to go do that stuff, but then I remember, well, you, are you are you okay 
okay with where you're at? This, this, this is all you want? That's all you want. That's all you're going to get. Nothing changes if nothing changes, right? Exactly. So, and I think um, foodie groups, I don't know if you guys do that. Foodie groups, local foodie groups. Yeah. God, those guys come and real buy from me. And then they, they start learning about all the other stuff they can put it in. That's really worked for me. And I didn't even think about that. I was like, well, who's going to want, why would they want microgreens? And then they take these amazing pictures and send them back to me. I was like, I need to get these people on it. <laughs> they're going to help me with my posts. <laughs> so I'll just, it's like there are people who have uh, chefs who have a, a course, a main course of private property. So can you take these? And if you, and if you have time and can bless me with a picture, I would love it. And if you can't, you can't. Because I've given it to four or five chefs and they just didn't have the time. But that builds your relationship with them. So when they do a wedding function and now it's, you know, 40 plates, now you're, now you're getting into the game. So, again, pick and choose your battles. And chefs are difficult to talk to sometimes. You know, sometimes, sometimes they're, they're super nice because you're meeting them before the rush, and then you meet them after the work, and they're thinking about rushing home. So you got to go in there at the perfect time and, again, have your stuff together. Yep. It, it, it saves you headaches. And they're going to have a ton of questions uh, that you should be able to answer on the, on the dime. So no hesitation because you've been doing this long enough. And if you have it and you're a novice, be honest with them. Tell them you're starting and you want to work this out and you want to try and get in here. Please, can I just get a foot in the door? Honesty goes a lot of way, a long way with these owners because at some point they started just like you. Yeah, we all start somewhere. And remind them of that. I often say that. I, you know, I know you started somewhere. I'm, I'm, I'm there now. So can you be that person I can work with to help me get to where you are now? Put them on a pedestal because it, feel, it feels good when people recognize what you've worked for, you know? I built a table inside my inside my house, and I, my friends will show up, and they're just sitting around there. Like, Look at that table holding that beer right there. That's right. <laughs> me, me and my dad built that back in 2021 on a cold December night, you know? <laughs> so, With nothing but hand tools. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no nails in that. Yeah. <laughs> Every nail had to be driven in uphill. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and if, and if you guys can, vending machines, get into it, get into it. Yeah, that's that is so unique. Thing. Get yeah, into it. Cause, very cause you, interesting. Because you, you they're cold, they're refrigerated, right? Some of them, some of them are cold. Or you can put it inside of business, and then you tell them, hey, just ask them a simple question. How much are you getting for the Dorito spots? What's your return on that? Do you get 10%, 15%? I'm willing to give you 30%. Just give me this area. I tell you I'll sell out. If I'm, and I always tell them, give me three months. Three months. I'm asking probational period. Three months. And I always say that probational period. Just let me in. If, at any time you don't feel it works, I'm out of there. It won't take me any time. I just gotta get a cart. <laughs> I pop this thing up and I'm out. And they're they're willing to see if they can offer another product to their customers. So it works out. And the, yeah, awesome. you pay them up pay them up front for the electricity. Talk money with them. Like here, I'm willing to pay you electricity right now for the year. Even if you're only doing a probation period, that incentivizes them that you're going to be there for the long run. Just, I want to have more growth with you than just these three months. Just start putting those, I tell my wife, just start throwing those little seeds in there. Just, we just need, I just need a little seed to just hit somewhere and plant, you know, and then it grows and I can work from that. So I, I just love, I love the challenge of trying to find new places too, because it, it, once you get in there, it's like, yes, I did it. I don't know how, but I did it. I didn't think I could, but I did it. I could go in there, I'll tell you guys, I'll tell be honest with you, my hands are super sweaty when I go in there, and I'm like rubbing my knees in my car before I go in. And I get in there and I'm in front of somebody, and it's, uh, I just remember this is why I got into it. I'd rather be doing this than what I was doing. And I don't want to go back to what I was doing, so this is this is it. Better get good at it now, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Better get good talking to people. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, I just want to remind everybody that's on the Thumbcast right now to go ahead and put hashtag Thumbcast in if you want to win. And make sure you're going to be here at the end as well because you have to be present now to win. So hashtag Thumbcast and stay to the very end. But go ahead, Andy, sorry. No, I was just going to say, I mean, you know, I just want to reiterate, this is this is why we had Matt come on. You know, and I've talked with Matt in the past a couple times on the phone here and there, and it's his approach is so unique, and I think it's something that no one – 
no, no one other than you that I know of is doing this. You know, going to schools, talking to teachers, getting it's in vending horrible. machines. I didn't it's even horrible. know that until tonight. Can't so that's it. really just a great approach and something I don't think a lot of people would have thought about. And that's, you know, yeah. that's oh, part yeah. of this is just thinking outside of the box. You know, everybody just yeah. goes farmer's markets, restaurants, grocery stores, home subscriptions, maybe distributors. That's it. You know, and they're not thinking about the cafes, the golf courses, the hotels, the the yeah. Sonys of the world, oh, you know, um, and, and going into whole different avenues that are just an open door that's waiting to be walked through, but we don't yeah. think about it. You know, and that's what makes it tough. So, yeah, I, I, I love it, dude. Everything about it. It's really cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Great idea. What I'm on right now is retirement homes. Wow. Retirement homes. Those people yeah. need the nutrition more than anybody. I, I would have loved to give my grandparents this stuff now. I would have. I would have, would have loved to offer it to them. And if I can drop in a solution to make people's health a little better, the golden years when you're there, man, please. Let's, let's, yeah. let's make it. And it's affordable. So those guys are playing yeah. uh, the arm and leg and the distribution that they have to pay sometimes is, is 25, 30%. And it doesn't leave them any room for profit. I'm like, I'm down the street. Like, and I always say, if you, if I give you the stuff today and you don't like it, you call me. I have the stuff already there. I'll switch it that day. There's no questions asked. Because I want, because you have a contract with me. That's how it works. So yeah. they love that that they can call somebody and actually talk to you. You know, I'm sure you guys have um, customers that if they, they talk to you, and like, oh, thank you. It's so nice to get you instead of an automated phone call, you know. Press one to figure out nothing. Press two to st be stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when I hand somebody a business card, I always point, I make sure I point out, you know, this is my personal cell phone number. Mm -hmm. so if you have any questions, this is the number you call, not the other mm -hmm. number. That's just gonna yeah. get you to the business, yeah. but yeah. Like, call me directly, text me directly. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's your best approach for sure. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome, man. I, I love the story. I love hearing it a second time in even more detail. You know, uh, it's just, it's really a, a unique approach. And that's what I really I, love about it. I'm glad it's being successful for you, for sure. That's awesome. I'm, I'm, I've been blessed, man. I, I'll tell you when I started, I, uh, I'll be honest. I don't, I, I wanted a business to work, but I didn't know it would require uh, all of this. You know, and once you get into something, you've got to be all about it because you'll quickly learn if you aren't. And yeah. you'll have to go back. And passion goes a long ways. Mm -hmm. You know, really long ways. Mm -hmm. If you're not passionate yeah. about what you're doing, then it's going to be yeah. very tough. For you to stay motivated and dedicated to what you're doing, but also to get your customers excited about what you have, yeah. you know, yeah. and I think that's that can separate the men from the boys right there. Even if you're not good with sales, but you have passion, you know, that yeah. can be huge in yeah. helping you get that sale, even if you're inexperienced with selling. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry about Poor the sun shining sun on my face, guys. Yeah. <laughs> coming right to the... Change of times, the change of the years, and uh, <laughs> I feel like we're at the start of a movie. Yes. Yeah. 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 There we go. Now, Good job, Jess. Yeah. 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 I thought at first I was like, oh, his beard's on fire. <laughs> but it's, there's a strip of window right above the door on the oh. entry, and that's exactly where the sun was coming through. Oh, right no. The theaters. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I love the idea of the vending machines and, and the schools and vending machines there. Do you put like, do you just sell the microgreens by themselves or you put like a dressing with them or anything or how do you do that? So I can't, there's certain, I would have to have a food uh, uh, kitchen permit to do that. Oh, so I don't yeah. do that, I just, just my package. And uh, uh, another thing about my package is my, my, uh, my bag, the container, the label, all of it is biodegradable. So if I, t I tell the teachers, your kids don't like it, and they throw it in the, you know, back in the back 40 in 200 and something days, it'll be gone. What? Who else is doing that? You guys got to do that. Yeah. You know? But you're, you're lucky enough to at least live in a state that can do commercial composting. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's yeah. the biggest problem that we have where, where we are, and I know you're in the same boat, Mike, is that you know, there's tons of great compostable packaging we could be using, but we don't have the facilities. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they... A lot of people just assume, oh, I can throw this in my garden. It's going to compost on its own. No, not at all. It has to be professionally yeah. done. No, not at all. Yeah. no facilities here that, that mm -hmm. do that. You know, so you're oh. lucky in California that you guys have access to that kind of equipment and, and services. So definitely a nice plus. 
So that is a plus. Yes. The, I just uh, see Joe's comment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, but yeah, that's that's awesome. Yeah, and I agree, Andy. Like, if we had a compostable area facility that would do it near us, we definitely 100% would do it. Even if we had to get the packages back from the customers, if they couldn't get to it, we would get to it. You know, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's yeah. just not mm -hmm. reasonable here. So, do yeah. the um, one shoes, the whatever the P P. Yeah. Like, yeah. Post consumer role. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Products. Yeah. That's the best we can do. Yeah, great producer. Great producer. Yes. Great yeah. producer. She's like coming in there. It's perfect, man. I start. <laughs> gotta get my. I gotta get my wife in here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, yeah, that guy's wife in it. She was in it. Mm -hmm, I saw that. It was yeah. good. To, it was good to meet her. Uh, oh, so good, to meet her good to see her. And, a lot of convincing. <laughs> How much was that dirt, Andy? Yeah, how much was that? Uh, yeah. It was over $100. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, it was a lunch the following day. <laughs> but, yeah, it was, uh, I, mean, I mean, she's, you know, in the same boat like you were, Matt, when you walked into that school thinking you were going to be talking to a couple of people and you ended up talking to a whole auditorium full of people. You know, she, she has no problem being in front of people publicly speaking, but no. being, you know, in a, on a live feed, you know, for the first time ever, uh, yeah. was definitely a little bit overwhelming. She's not like a, she's not, I'm, I'm super extroverted. She's super introverted. So <laughs> it's like easy for me to go in here and do this. I have no shame. So <laughs> it's easy. for her, you know, she's always like, oh man, you know, but yeah, it was, it was good. It worked out good. Once, once we got rolling, same thing, man. Once you got in front of those people, it's the passion comes out and It'll be the same makes it easy the at that point. So she did good. She definitely earned her, uh, I remember what she got, some kind of sausage gravy thing the next day. <laughs> One of our restaurants that support us. So it worked out good. We were able to go support a restaurant that supports our farm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Matt, I know you probably talked about it a little bit, this and pizzas as we went along here, but what is the future for your business? What do you see, where you see your outlets going? What do you see about your future of your business? Oh, uh, it's quickly changing. And I, um, so I have... I have the microgreens going. That's been working very well. Um, I've my dream is to become like the vending machine of microgreens. Like I'd love to just be that. Like when you, you know you see those water water tanks, and you can fill up your water. I would like to be that. But at least just Cal California to LA. Uh, you know that's all I can probably get to. I live like six miles oh south of LA, so that's about as far as I can go. And I do have people in the family that could distribute it for me, so that might be a viable option. Um, however, I do live on a farm, so I have been getting into uh, selling my eggs here. So in combination with those, it's been going up, and that can go in the vending machine. Not at schools, because you know kids are going to be buying a, you know. <laughs> I don't need to start, need to see kids buy like packs and packs and start a food fight. We want these things out of here. <laughs> I, I have other heads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I told you, me and my friends were buying all of them. <laughs> I mean, you sell a bunch. <laughs> yeah, it's all a bunch. Yeah, we cleared out everything. At least uh, for like a week. <laughs> you make a huge amount of money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I would like to. I, I don't I, I guess my goal, my ultimate goal is to uh, make a change. I would love to hire the next wave of kids to work for Nemo Greens and start off their own franchises. Uh, I have one now that I'm still building. It takes, franchises take a while. You know, I wasn't ready for that. And then there's a lot of forms and taxes yeah. and litigation and bureaucracy between it. And, but again, I want the challenge. So, uh, you know, this is it. <laughs> uh, but I want, I want more schools to uh, be aware of the food challenges ahead is a quick solution and going forward what if what if the, some teacher taught kids how to grow microgreens and then you could change neighborhoods overnight you know so then we wouldn't have this food shortage and food deserts you'd actually be able to go down to your neighbor's house and be like hey you guys got some broccoli back sure do here you go so uh you know i would love to see if the maybe one day the government would subsidize like farmers and start for, so we could actually feed these people because I can't stand seeing all this food from markets uh, just from going to waste you know it's, it's, it, it's not even it's not even bad but they're forced to throw it out because of their own policies and I 
Um, going forward, I, uh, you, I had to make better policies, that's for sure, because you know, I ran into a lot of things I wasn't ready for. And the, when the big kids are around, they know those policies off the back of their hand. And I, when, I remember going to a meeting and they were saying stuff, and I was just like, I don't know if that's a seasoning or a tax code or what was that word? <laughs> and thank God I had my, I had my uh, phone on record so I could you know, review the whole thing again. And I, I looked it up. They're, they're talking about some, some tax code. Yeah, I, just, know, really going, okay. right. God, I don't even know what that is. And they were and they were going on about it for another 20 minutes. So I was like learning as they're talking. I'm like, oh yeah, no, I'm sure I have those paperwork yeah. somewhere. Yeah. It's got to be right. That's, everybody has that. And I call my, my dad, who's the one who does my father's major paperwork, to make sure all that stuff lines up for me. And uh, uh, it's great having him, because there's a lot of times where I, I'm like, Dad, we're going to do this, we're doing that, this is growing, and that's growing. And he's like, you have $400 to spend on stuff right now. $400? He's like, yeah, look what you bought already. You already tried to do this last week. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 i got to slow it down. So you got to slow it down. All right. It brings me back down, but uh, that's what keeps me going. Exponential growth is that want for more. You know, it's not, and I'm not doing this to get rich. I'm just trying to do this to make a stable living for my family. Yep. So that's what I'm. Uh, I'm in this for. You know, because I. And again, I wish I could have given this to my grandparents back in the day. I wish. I wish I was more in tune with it back then, because I think I could have made a difference. Or I'd like to think so. You know. I've learned so much about these amazing vegetables now that we arbitrarily eat from time to time that are just the best thing for you, you know. It's like, it's like I need to eat so much more of these things, and I, I grow them. I'm like, today's the day. I'm going to go eat four ounces of broccoli. Somehow this week it's going to happen. It doesn't happen. Well, but I did have a sandwich. She might look at my wife. She's like, it was all in there. I'm like, oh, it was. That was a broccoli sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> them a lot. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I, I don't know. I think there's a lot of room for growth. I know I have a lot of things that need to get better on, which I don't think a lot of people talk about in this business is how much stuff we all have to grow. Like it's, it's a growing business. You're either, either learning about some of your seeds, or learning how to deal with mold, dampening off, or putting trays over, or learning different techniques. Um, shiso. You guys grow shiso? Not yet. It's it's on my list, but the seed is okay. ridiculously expensive. <laughs> oh my God! Is it ever? And I try. I was like, this is it. I'm gonna try seashell. Okay, this because every sushi place I ask uh, wants it. I'm like, oh, and they can't find it anywhere. Well, I found out why. Because it's so hard to grow. I I maybe got two trays out of a possible twenty I was trying. Mm. Right? And I've been doing this for five Ouch. years now, and I was like, okay. We're just going to be giving them purple cabbage. I can't in amaranth. I can't. I'm sorry. I haven't figured it out yet. I don't have. I don't have the capital to try and figure it out. Just keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. And then they're like, you should, you should try. And I joke with my restaurants. It's like, hey, you guys put up the funding for me to try whatever you want me to grow. I'll I'll be in there every day. I'm like, well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do it. Story changes then for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I apparently, I need uh, to reach out to Joe and ask him about how he, how he does it. <laughs> very easy, yeah. Apparently. <laughs> uh, Andy, you got any last questions for uh, Matt or anything? No, I mean, I, I just again, I want to reiterate. I just, I think your approach is awesome, and I think this will hopefully to inspire some folks that are, you know, afraid to go talk to chefs. To you know, because but once you get into the chef world, then you're getting into the amaranths, the cilantros, the beets, the celeries, the red vein sorrels, the things that are longer term grow, they're harder to grow, they're easier to kill. Um, you know, we always joke that uh, amaranth and beets pretty much hate to be alive. You know, yeah, your job is to... Oh my god, yeah. yeah. Unless you throw them in the yard, in the crack yeah. of the site. Yeah. Oh yeah, then they grow totally fine. You, know, you give them the worst case scenario, they grow great, but if you give them ideal scenario and ideal humidity and everything else, they're like, nope, I'm done. So, you know, but this gives people the option to get big with with homeowner level crops yeah. you know the broccolis the sunflowers the radishes yeah. the peas all the all the things that are easy to grow but not easy to sell to chefs as easy anyway as opposed to the other ones you know so that's what i really love about this approach and it's just getting people thinking outside of the box i think it's a yeah. huge plus yeah. you know so i really do appreciate your yeah 
I, I definitely appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate the fact that you were willing to come on here and talk about it. It's pretty cool. I oh, it. I definitely learned a lot. I knew I would. I told you that a month ago when we planned this. <laughs> oh, you guys are so nice. I, I really appreciate it. I, uh, I've probably been thinking about this every day since, but I can't. I don't. I, I know I know I have something to offer, and I hope people can. I can convey it well enough so they will just try. Because you just gotta try it. Just stick your neck out there, you know, and for what you believe in. If you're passionate about this, be okay with failing. Fail quick. Just get back up and try it again. Not every chef's gonna want what you want, what you have to offer. Even if it's your best day, people aren't gonna, may not watch what you have. You know, you gotta do your best work when you're least motivated. For sure. Yes. You gotta do it because there's gonna be days where you just, I don't know, I don't, why did I start growing wicker greens? Because there's days, I'll be honest, where I'm just like, I wish I had a boss who was like, Matt, we have these eight things for you to do today. I'm like, yes, eight things. When's the last time you guys had just eight things to do? <laughs> yeah, right? I had eight things to do. I know. March, like, March of 2020. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right? So, I... Yeah. It's anyway. crazy. That's awesome. Yes, definitely. Uh, I really love... I learned something here today, for sure. A unique, unique approach of going after my greens and going a different Thanks, route, doing vending machines. Something that never crossed my mind. Uh, before we had yeah. this conversation, I would never think about that. I would never even. We tried to get into schools to go to the cafeteria and you go that route. We never thought about going straight to the students, just going to the vending machine route and yeah. going straight to them. So that's something different approach that I would love to even explore down the road when we have time and space to do that. So definitely learned a lot. Uh, we're going to get into the Q and A session. So I know there's a lot of great questions in there. If you have any other questions or for Matt or myself, make sure you put them in there. What did you learn today? Is this, did you learn anything different? Uh, put that in the chat as well. I'm going to stop sharing. Didn't do that. Go. Oh. oh, it's hidden right now. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Lunch has been over for a few minutes, but we went ahead and uh, let uh, that play. So, stop screen share. All right. So, we are back. Guess who's back? Hmm. It is. LinkedIn already or have the yelled yet? Hmm? LinkedIn. Still I got on? some yeah. Hasn't kicked us off yet. Yeah. That's surprising. And it's also only been three hours, three and thirty, because the first hour I did. Oh yeah. On the shorts. That is correct, sir. We're on the shorts feet first. Anybody got any questions or comments, put them in the chat. We're here to answer. Or you can just watch what we do. Whatever. Fishbowl. Fishbowl. Um, you're going to get him packing lists? Yeah. I didn't know if you were going to slide him through for locking up. Oh, I was like, okay, I guess I can help slide him through for you. <laughs> yeah. From well, if he could tape the boxes up, he could just do the boxes right there and then put them right in. Yeah. Yeah. You should fit 30 per box. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's the plan. Packing this real quick.
Yeah, don't put them over here because this is where I got to put peace. Lots of peace still to go. What'd you do all day? I harvested peas. Lots of peas. Uh, you got a few hours to leave the packages out. Um, technically, by health code, you got up to six hours. <clears throat> you don't like leaving them out too long. That's why he's here now and uh, labeling them, and we'll get them put away in the coolers, box them up, and all that. Shortest amount of time as possible, but I feel okay with it up to like four hours. Remember, you're cutting these. And packing them right away, and they've never even seen the cold. So it's kind of good to leave them out for a little bit anyway, once you harvest them, so you're not shocking them straight to cold. And they're giving a moment to reacclimating to being cut and going. So, There's basketball going on back here. <laughs> cool. Never had an issue. We've left them out three, four hours. Where we got a chance to label them and never had any issues at all. Huh? It's it's very tight. So if you is that is that six? You need to see. Yeah. Or maybe it's five. five time type six. Five, yeah. Six, yeah. It's still like so tight. Six, but, yeah. yeah. So he's now loading uh, these into the cases that are getting delivered. 30 in a case is the theory here. We'll see how well it closes. As soon as he gets them done, I guess I will try to tape it shut to see. Really going to have to get him comfortable. Not scared of the gun. Well, I don't know if it tried to kill you, but it bit you. Gave you a good bite. Yeah. Yep. Give it. Give it. I know. Push in. There we go. Get off it. Put it in the cooler, make sure label out into that corner, start in that corner to stack up. Yep. One box done.
Yes. We found also if you put them directly in the cooler after you harvest, like within minutes, you know, 30 minutes or so, that's when you get a lot of condensation because they don't get the chance to off gas here. So. One of the podcast episodes, uh, Joe really nerded out on it. Uh, it was one with Joe on it and me and Andy both, not the recent one that Joe and Andy were just on, uh, but the one that we all were on. And uh, Joe kind of went in depth science, broken it down, you know, turning the packages upside down while we're over here and labeling them and doing all that stuff. It, it actually all helps the whole process of it all. So not put them in the cooler right away is a good thing. It all depends on your heat, too. Like, I mean, it's like 70 degrees in here right now. You know, if you're in a very hot place, you'd probably want to get them in faster. So, Yeah, it's been a while, but stuff in boxes it in the thirty pit. Since I'm gonna have to stop and tape boxes or. I'm going to have to get him over his fear. Well, I can't have us both. We can't be stopping. Right. There's already one in there. You already taped one. That was very awkward looking. Yeah, we should hold it. But it won't. I know, but there ain't no way I'll break my I feel like I'm breaking my wrist. Building. Well, we really need to start getting them in the cooler, so we got to kind of lay them out in the coolers, I think, more so. Like, he's going to, like, the radishes are done, so, like, he's going to have to have, like, 
how many places are getting rent, you know, they're going to get out, label that cooler with the packing, that crate, yeah. and you just build up from there. All right. And then the next thing that would go in would go that. You just keep on moving the label up, and anything below that would be that person's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Make sure we're pushing that door shut every time we come out. So you will build in this one, right? When that one's full of this person's, if it does fill up, then you build another one, move that tag up. So anything below that tag would be theirs. Um, hey, this crate. Hey, you yeah. fill this crate up. It's With full. All these. Well, if it doesn't fill, it, it overfills, it, okay. right? You need another one. Yeah. You put another crate on top of this one. Okay. In the so cooler, goes up, then it goes up. Crate. So anything, them two crates would be theirs. Okay. Our three, you know, whatever it is. So how am I filling up? Am I just doing that? And I just putting it in here? Yes, as the you're putting them in here right now. Like if they got any radishes, you're gonna put radishes in here. But it needs to be in the cooler. It needs to be not like this. out here. Like well, no, you got to separate them out. But you're gonna have to have them stacking and back and forth a little bit because there's not enough room to put yeah. 24 crates laying on the floor.
You gonna figure it out? I think so. New systems. Yes, they should be. They should have printed on the printer. It was taking forever. I walked away. And you need to read for any power cord. Um. It would take us longer at deliveries, which we have more time to do. So I'm pre referencing this conversation with that. Yeah. And they just all just go radishes all in one and everything else. And then we just grab them out of there. I could do that. You know. It might be a little long. Yeah. Because it's, it's really tight. Yeah. And his brain's going to hurt. Yeah. So, new plan? I think so. Crashes. New. We, crates. Yep. And, and then we'll. Don't mix crates. Don't mix crates. No mix crates. They okay. cannot be mixed. I like that idea. Okay. Yep. We can pack off him. Yeah. You can take a packing slip with you. I mean, if you want. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. New plans to make more money. All these plans. Well, we're trying to figure everything out. You know, it's new. So sunflowers. We'll just load them on the truck and we'll pack them. I printed seven. It's six, seven times six is 42. I only made 41. So. You should have one whole label left. Well, there's probably some in the pack too, but no. Nope. So yeah. But do not mix crates. Yeah. The crates can't mix like you can't do half one, half the other. So only that thing in that crate. It'd work, but. I think you just need more space to make it work yeah. more effectively. When you start labeling these and putting these away, go from this direction and get this put away as fast as possible. These two rows, okay? They've been out for a while. All right, new sub. New sub. Like new subs, welcome to the channel. Yeah, I'm going to think I'm keeping the two bottom stacks from here on out. <laughs> Raising my table up. Well, I meant to take these. I was like, why did I set the one over there by itself? It's because I'm taking this 60 over there. Maybe. Wow, what are you guys doing? Now we do need a number for like peas that go into boxes. I guess, you know, 
Yeah, because it's not exactly the same amount of cases. A little shy. You know, it's not 30 times 12. It's, yeah. These are now 540. 540, okay, so that would be. Yeah, it's, five, it's divisible by So 30. it's 18 cases? Yeah. All right, so yeah, you just fill the cases and then. 18 cases. Put them away. Yeah. And then the rest of them, the rest of them go to. In crates. Yes. Make a box that's a, that's not completely full. I don't know how many radishes it is. Three thirty. No, we changed our order to make it. Did we? Nope. So it's eleven cases exactly. No. Nope. Exactly eleven cases of thirty. Okay. Nope. Don't remember that, but sure. One of the late nights. Like, well, if it's I'm on the second week of this week right now, okay? So, <laughs> week two of this week. Uh, it's only Sunday. <laughs> I know. Like, uh, it's only the beginning of the week. I was like, yeah, this week is wonky. But I was like, this week is almost over. I was like, no, this week never ends. <laughs> <laughs> this week never ends. Yeah, how they get the. I sent all the kids silly little gifts of uh, newbie throwing an egg into the Pagan holiday. <clears throat> Double eggs, Easter bunny. We're right this. Her mom called on Friday evening. I was wanting to know if we wanted to get together. Mom, it's Friday. That happens in two days. What are you doing tomorrow? She should have to go. This has all been planned out. Like I, uh, my life has to plan out weeks ahead. Like. Yeah, right. <laughs> Must be nice to be retired. <laughs> Heather had a job. She worked at Walmart. She ever had a job besides this, like uh, actual job? No. Maybe. Yeah, but I mean, she like, like a W two job. W two job. I don't think. Well, at some point, the money from the parents ain't going to be there from the government of being her their. Uh, she was there. Caregiver. She was getting paid as their caregiver. Yeah. Which I think she still gets something. Yeah, but it's not a lot. It's I mean, not a lot. I and, she, and she's she's you know she's almost forty years old. She's she is forty. Oh yeah. No, she's not. I'm forty something. Forty one. Am I forty one? Forty one. She's forty one. No, she's no, eighty three. That would make her forty one. Okay, so they're, yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, there's no way she's 40. You're only 41. Like, I don't know. I don't keep very good track of that. Obviously. obviously. Yeah, apparently. I'm 41. <laughs> Oh, last year, I remember, because I was like, you, you said happy birthday, and you looked at me like I was crazy, and I was like, am I 40? <laughs> I, I didn't know. I like, Wait, I I'm like, it's a big birthday. Yeah, whatever. I'm like, <laughs> oh, I think I'm like actually 40. Oops. We're getting everything done today that goes into boxes, right? That's like, the that's, that's the plan. That's what? the plan. The big plan. Yes. Oh. And it's already one twenty. So if it's going in a box, it needs to get harvested and put in the box. But we also didn't get orders done. We didn't get. There's a lot of things we didn't have done coming into today, which is bad. On other things, which shows this behind. We didn't get to start harvesting. Well, he started harvesting. I didn't. Get there. So, orders. Are you even? Just pulling them closer. Uh, sharing. How many more radishes you got to go? 
You got more on the shelf still? Oh. I'm going to be done with peas and start having to har help you harvest. Do not combine grapes. I think that's actually clove. Okay. So if they fit into a small one versus a big one, you know, like do you can do a short grape. Yeah. Yeah. Short grape. Yeah. I'm trying to find fastest ways to get this process done. This is more important to get done faster. I still have 47 more peas over there after these. I might just be working through the night. All nighter. Just <laughs> like with what? We got a cot here. Take turns shift shift sleeping. You're two hours, you two two hours. You get two hours, you get two hours. Probably sit there and stare and count things on the ceiling. I wonder if I could do YouTube Studio with having the mics working. Like, would that not make a problem? Or, oh, yeah. Have to try it sometime. Not Although we need to have shallow crates for wheat grasses, so we push a lot of them to twelves. Yeah. I'll figure that out. Hmm? Your boxes and the grapes are all the same height. Yep. Especially the deeper ones. Like, it took a lot of mom searching for you to find them boxes. And last minute, like, too, like, oh, the right we need boxes. Like, yeah. I did not like the smaller ones we got first. No, they just, they don't hold enough. You might do wood for, um, what is I wonder if they do well for lettuce. Something to use them for, you know.
what? 22. They should all get one. Yes. I like it. So there'll be one big crate of radish in there. Just make sure you. It don't really matter. Yeah, not really. They'll all go the same. Days, pretty much. Well, there's LinkedIn. Uh, it's like, yep. Yeah, Five hundred and sixty-seven. Well, yeah, but they're not all getting, we're getting 350 and four, depending on who it's going to. So if you do 350, you can get a, and then you'd have a little extra. 375 might be even a more accurate number yeah. on average. That's all right. It's five sixty six, by the way, not five sixty seven. Five sixty six, my bad. It's almost four dollars a thing. It's three ninety seven seven seven. It's twenty two hundred over twenty two hundred dollars. Just in peace. That's that's half of what we used to do per week. In p this piece. Hopefully the food banks likes it. Because he's got to spend the money anyway. Hopefully this is something that is valuable for them. Like. Yep. We give them lettuce next week. Yeah, lettuce. Yep. And Thursday was wonky too. What did we do Thursday that was wonky? I don't remember. Doing deliveries late, and then we were uh, doing not Thursday. Planting. What else is there? So the seeds came up on Thursday. Oh, we were rearranging everything because the oh, rearranging seeds came, the boxes came. A lot of deliveries came, and we're rearranging everything. We're rearranging an entire warehouse. Yep. Good times. Like, what was that thing? I don't remember. It's all blurs. Blurs.
I need a third one. Third one. Big Mac. Because, like, I need these two because I'm here, but then I'm happy to be over there. I'm going to drop down to the one that's in between. <laughs> There's a third one, but... But it's low, so I'm like, boop. You need softness, too. I'm going to start getting the peas packed. They need to get going. They've been out long, too long enough. Long enough. And that's on my desk, all the labels for them. Corner. Eleven. How many is there right now? How many stacks of 20s? 10. 10. Okay. Well, yeah, just a, just, just a. Not even halfway there. Yeah. Yeah. That is where it's at. Half of half. I took off my sound and I don't know. I took it off Your mic? Yeah. So it wouldn't be like pushing around while I was trying to Probably should find that. Let me find it. 
かにしてなくて。マイスタンドです。Um, looks like camera was unplugged. The camera died. See. You gotta switch cameras. There you go. Number two. Good. <laughs> I saw your camera. Oh, come on, babe. Looks like your camera was unplugged. Yeah, it just wasn't in, in the power. Yeah, need to get another cord or double or something to be able to. Yeah. Did I? Mm -hmm. It might reach. I had to go turn the one up for him. Like none of his power is working. I'm like, what's going oh, on? The dot Yeah, because they're all labeled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to break them down and put them on a pallet anyway. So. so it doesn't matter if it's all dried or fatted. No, don't do that. Don't do that? Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Yeah, shut that door. Sure. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do that. Yeah, you can do, like, because you're going to have, like, all radishes, like, go radishes and then start building, you know. Yeah. Yeah, don't don't mix them up like that. I mean, you can stack a, you know, on top of right, you know, have you got peas, pea, uh, radish, and you finish. Up. I understand. Just stick them on the side. Remember last week when I harvested like three trays of radish? Yep. Remember last week when you harvested four trays of kale? Yeah, I haven't even gotten that far yet. Kale, four days. Some days, Yep, been too busy. I can't chug like that. Forward to the main one.
Yeah. And Tanera's literally down the road.
Yes. Mm-hmm. Combination of hot seeds and bad soil. Not as good soil. Not as good. Not bad. Not as good as a medium substrate growing material as I would like. Daughters at home, because we're not. Next Saturday, Sunday, can you pick me up from Jefferson City? Jefferson City is like three hours away. No. And I understand this train's in Jefferson City. Why didn't she just take in the train? Oh, yeah, the one doesn't come back from there. Hey, I don't know why. She says it doesn't come back. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. A little bit of lunch. Have you done anything but radishes? Brush on sunflowers and radishes? It's not a good sign. Huh? So that's not a good sign. Uh, I just had a lot of time. I started these, so I need to finish them. 
I mean, you could always switch up for a moment. Well, no, at this point, you know, you got still got quite a few to go. Just pack them all. Doesn't want to participate. You can switch to the red guy. Mom did throw him. I think he's throwing. He's It was self inflicted homicide. That's what they always say. You threw himself out the window, man. Blue guy never gets, we never get to him, you know, like. Yeah, blue guy. Sneeze you. Sneeze you. Peace forever. Closed. And you're supposed to already be gone with that, so. Yeah. He said he was supposed to be gone. 
Yeah. Yeah. Another round. Not a yeah, just give me a stretch on. One more tape. I don't have it. My shoulder like gave out. I'm never working out again. Don't need a gym. Oh, I can't flip him. Because he went to the gym. Before he came here? Yeah. Oh. Went to the gym yesterday. Feeling regrets. It is that day after the gym that's the most painful. Find this too a lot with them. Huh? The shell in the leaves. Oh,
Hi, Trinity. A picture of the watchers here. In a car with the three boys. Yeah. Close That's the most I've seen ever. Now. That sounds like Trinity. My friends are just like, what's happening? Is that it? There's the other roll, right? So, like, that we took off of it. Yeah, but that doesn't bow well. Like, no, no, it does not. Everything taped before the end of the night. I don't know. Uh, good Didn't like that one. Nope. Up there. Sticking. Yeah, 
you hardly got it through any boxes yet. Yeah, we still have a lot of boxes. You're just going to have to close them on top of each other and set them in there. Tape them afterwards. Uh, and that's yeah. I need to get a power cord. Power cord so. I gotta get a cord to hook to it. Otherwise, it just sets our runs off diesel and plug it on all day. Yeah. Don't believe it. Up 10, down 20, 20, 20, 30, <laughs> between holidays, kicking out the Baltimore port. port. You know, all those ships that are waiting to dock there to do like imports, they all have to find somewhere else to go. Someone ain't getting their team move. You. <laughs> oh, it's it's probably on that ship that crashed. Somebody took a picture of it. Like, this is where your package is at. Well, it didn't dump anything in the. Just took out the bar, bridge and it's kind of sitting there. I don't know if they moved it or what they've done with it so far, but. It actually was leaving the port. It can get in. Because, you know, there's a bridge that's crashed in the middle, in the water. So.
Amazing how many recordings we have of that. Did them fifteen thousand people get in get a unemployment? There's fifteen thousand jobs that depend on the port. Baltimore was already struggling with the economy. Look, we started talking about the Baltimore port. We got four people in. Sorry, guys. We're just leaving. We're just talking. Just talking. Just hard be doing big harvest today and tomorrow. Welcome in if you guys are just now arriving or coming back. Welcome back. Got any questions about microgreens or business microgreens? Put them in the chat. We will get to them when we got a moment. It was on my mic. It was on your desk. Hmm. Is it on? I think so. Yep. Okay. I didn't dangle I seen. I couldn't see it on the green. Are right, you guys going to step back and listen to what we say or do, which isn't a whole lot? The sound of silence. Probably more today than normal just because of differentness. At this rate, I'm being two and two stage deliveries by myself. <laughs> I'll still be harvesting. <laughs> Thank you. 
Our Tuesday deliveries are on Thursdays now. Yeah. Rotate things. We did that last week already. A lot of them. North. North was actually Wednesday. Wednesday evening. Evening. We got all deliveries done Tuesday and Wednesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday. We were thinking it was going to be Thursday. It was just a 15 hour day on Wednesday. That's all. No biggie. Would have been an hour shorter if I had my key. Minor details. <laughs> How's she getting back to college today? Good question. Been down with Kylie. Kylie don't go to college there. Nope. And Kylie had stayed with her that night. <laughs> oh, oh wait <laughs> there there's a lot more well there's enough that i, I can only have they have three more trades after this round that's all i got up there yeah yeah that's all the radishes yeah the last of the radishes something like that I'm gonna cut till I can't cut no more. Should well, we need to fill up 11 boxes though, and the rest will be. Fill 11 boxes and an eighth surplus would be lovely. And then the rest would be for the other deliveries. That we'll sort out when we get there. Well, those ones are already done too. Fine. Yeah. I'm ahead ish. Not really. So far behind. Catching up. We're catching up. That's what we're doing. I feel like I've been behind for three weeks, so. Yeah. Once we got this orders <laughs> behind. From that moment, we're like, whoop. Time to catch our tails. The answer is you make it happen. All right. We're gonna have to figure out, like, I don't know how. You're okay. off school, right? Uh, so, this week. Yeah, I know. This week, yeah. I mean, I thought we were homeschooling him on Mondays. Uh, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> Is there like a work program or something? <laughs> the other ones do that. <laughs> yes, let's feed her in microgreens. Be like, shh. shh. Yeah, remote learning. Just go in there like this, go. Once. I was here today, huh? We were at school all day on Monday, right? Right? You know. You know. Huh? Yeah, I was going to say. I'm hoping that, that we get in a better groove. Yeah, next just week. a better routine, I think, next week, too, would help. Just because this week was... We're still trying to logistics, so when we do this, do that, and an extra when few minutes of explaining done. that and figuring all that out. And then making a decision that it's not going to work that way. That way. It all adds up to time. And getting a new bike box tape done. Yeah. <laughs> yes, please. New tape down, for sure. He's a little bit homicide. Tape cams and sitting in Target watching true crime mysteries. <laughs> okay. 
he will not be going on our resources guide unless there's a list of don't use this. Don't use this one. This don't one use this is one. dumb. Reminds me, I've never really looked to see if, if that one ever shipped out. At some point, I would be like, just forget it. We'll go find one. Money back, please. Yeah. I don't know if we can afford that, but yeah. <laughs> that might take your whole week's pay and then some. Did one radish upside down this whole time. I've done them all right, and there's just this one now that's upside down. I don't even know why I put it in upside down. Oh no! I messed it up, man. I messed up the whole thing. One upside down radish. That... Remember when we did a podcast about this time on Sundays? So funny. <laughs> that would not work. I gave you a sandwich. I'm lacking in the snackings department. I've got protein shakes. what the caramel ones that's what i had ordered originally yeah i had ordered the caramel ones and they substitute the chocolate ones so now we just take forever to go through them because we don't like them as much actually one case was a substitute because i ordered the caramel ones and that came in a set so then i tried to order fair life instead and another chocolate one showed up me and instacart were not getting along that week which is pretty normal I was like, I'll substitute that this time. So again, we ended up with Chuck. $4. For protein? Same thing? That's insane. We'll sit outside the shop. Right. Two dollars. Two pity, two pity, two pity. Mm. If you have the black card, you get a discount. Mm. Okay. What a guy. Should like put it away so you don't try to use like it. Far, far away. Mom, Mom did throw him around. I didn't throw him. He jumped. It was his own dang fault. Is anyone even watching it? They just, There's six people. Just chilling in silence. <laughs> so work aside, work along. Yeah, work along. Thank <laughs> you. 
Minty Dope just got back on. About to get the chicken in the oven. Yum! Son, fake me out on a nap. It is about to be out of here soon. Nap time? Nap time. We love nap time. Fake naps. They, they like to do that, don't they? I'm asleep. You walk away. Right up. Right back up. Legacy Greens is while listening along while working in the food processing area. Miss missing the ceilings and walls, getting ready to paint. Nice. 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 You got a processing zone now too. Yeah. Hey. We're officially in a, a licensed kitchen now too. Yep. Got our health department inspection and all that good stuff. Got an official kitchen license. Now we just have to use the kitchen. We just haven't had a time for that. <laughs> yeah, and then we ran, uh, then we got this. So, yeah. We already had the ball rolling for getting the kitchen certified. So at that point, you know, you just get it certified. But the actual execution of using it, no, not so much. Well, we will for popcorn. Yeah. Um, even if we don't do wholesale yet, we still can now do it commercially. Yeah. I mean, without, you know, this is processed in a, without using the cottage slicing. Well. Yeah. Don't have to have that on the label anymore. Nope. Cool to see the see more of the teamwork. Yeah. Congrats on showing off the certificate on the certification. Big milestone. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. It was good. Now we got to work on a wholesale license for the popcorn and the powders and all that. Apparently, you got to get wholesale certificate as well. So that's more paperwork that I have to fill out. So I'll get there. I'll get there eventually. We really, really got to focus on taxes. Mm -hmm. Whatever you got to do, and ask it done. Yeah. You have to pay them to the people that we already had that are new, but whatever. Whatever you got to do. Yeah. Got to get this year's done. That will take us out. the wrong way. You were supposed to go this way. You did not. Three points. We were lucky though, this facility was already set up to get the certificate from the previous owners, previous yeah. tenants. We didn't have to apply for a new 
um, layout and all that. It and we don't have to do any build out or anything? Certified before, so it's just a change of ownership and then them popping in and making sure everything's still good. Otherwise, it's like, what, $1,000 to get mm -hmm. done. So, not cool. Not cool at all. I got you. I see some struggles happening. I got you. Here. Oh. Round town and lift it up. Because <laughs> he got you long. He did not want to. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Look over, he's in a spot. <laughs> It's the last radish. Mm -hmm. Radish is done. It's not the last pea. No, it's not the last pea. It was the last radish. So, you know, all victories. elbow in there. Oh yeah, even covers both sides. Yeah, that order works.
How many boxes of peas you have in there? The two forty. Okay. Yep, do radishes. Knock those out the rest of the way. Micah, can you take my phone and plug it in for me? He didn't hear you. Plug my phone in. In the office. Dad's side of this. Hey guys, close up. Oh man, one short. One short. How many shorter? Short. That's all radish shots, is right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have so two ten. One, two, three, four, five. Almost. How many do you have? 150, 160, 159 plus four, five, five boxes. So 150. 150. So three, three, 19. 319. How many you're supposed to get? 330? I thought it was 330. 330? I think you made too many boxes. Huh? It's supposed to be 330. I think I made too many boxes. I, yeah. I made 12. No, she didn't. There's seven there. I these, made 12. Are these all radishes? Yeah, the, there's five in there. I made four boxes. So you're 11 short, though. I'm. Yeah, it's exactly. And not then some. Yeah. All right. Yep, head of the game.
Can you carry those now? Nope. You ain't got time to do that. I have 66 cabbages in there. 66? Probably just do whatever you need. Don't do the extras right now. No. Sixteen in these. Let's go in the other side. Um, I mean, you need twenty-two though, don't you? Yeah, I've got six of them that are. Oh, short. okay. Okay. I was like, yeah, it's not mathing, but okay. Yeah, hey, maths. Yep. So, how many you? Need beyond that, though. Do you know that number? Not offhand. Okay. The what? You're a junior. Because you're in junior classes. Yeah. Oh, the classes I took my senior year, buddy. Don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> You're taking freshman classes for fun. Yeah. What's well, the easiest class I can take? I didn't need to be there. They didn't need to pass anything. They didn't need any more credits. I was good. Yep. I am. Uh, roughly. Oddly enough, more or less, almost exactly the same overall, but we have 60 in the cooler already. That just needs to be locked up. That I was ahead on, thankfully. You like a little being a little bit ahead on things. One of the few things I got ahead on this week. Beard, you folded up all printing. Interesting. Oh, nice. Weird streak. How old's the little bra? Good to see young people showing up for a job. Uh, this one is 18 now. That is the youngest. Yeah, your first job working for us, you were 12. Work 
11. I don't know, what? you were little. Working the register at the fair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah, that was a whole other lifetime ago. Yep. Doing off-site events. And that chips. Yep. Working that. <laughs> For the 4th of July, Sparks of the Park, or the Sparks of Lake, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah. That lake celebration. Yeah. Doing off site events for the restaurant. Yeah. Yelling at Jordan for sitting down on the job. No way, Jordan. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, that one was for a county fair that we were working. Yeah, he's our youngest. He's the baby. Youngest and the tallest. <laughs> you might have to fight with your sister on that comment. She'd kick your butt for that. Apparently, she's going home tomorrow because the train's too expensive. Also known as she doesn't have to go to class tomorrow, then. Good try, girl. Her life. You? Yeah. Probably like $13, $18. Holiday weekend, it might be more, though. Yeah. Because everybody takes the train on the holiday. Gotta not wait till the last minute to book things, too. Yeah. There's that. Team Reeks make the dream work, that's for Indeed. sure. Indeed. I remember helping with all the football team booths at state at street fairs. Hated it. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad. I don't think he hates it. Your job. <laughs> Better than his job at Old Navy. No creepy weirdos following you home and co-workers. <laughs> now I just have to follow you home because you know I live there. We usually follow way behind, though. Way behind. <laughs> way behind. A few hours after you get home. Yep. Yes. Really? Yes. You didn't realize that Bernard made you smell like a cigarette? Yeah, that's Bernard. Yeah, you can't smell it after a while. But that car was a giant ashtray. He was a very cheap and efficient ride. Purchase cheap? He was what you could afford at the time. How about that? <laughs> Which wasn't much. Yeah. Yeah. Teaches you things, you know, working at a young age for sure. You don't realize what it's doing until later in life. I was in junior high, high school. We worked the uh, concession stands all the time. You did umpiring back then. Umpiring, I did when I was younger. I was 12. I was doing umpiring. Yep. Umpiring the eight and unders and stuff, you know. Throwing grown men out of games because they think they're big and bad and they can run over a 12 year old. Nope. Goodbye. You give a 12 year old the right to throw people out of the game, like mm -hmm. grown folks. They yep. learn fast that I control the game.
Yeah. Non-stop well, labeling, yeah. It is like, you know, it's going to be like 3,000 packages or so, so. There's that. <laughs> Think about mom watering every day. 600 trays. What's in all them trays? Uh, everyone. Say, I watered like yesterday. Indented two days ago. There was a day I watered. You watered like th four sets top half. Well, I kind of bend over, okay? Not a bad bag. <laughs> like one eighth of the tray. <laughs> I watered though. You watered. It helped. I, I was doing teamwork. It helped. It was something. What was I still doing? I was still working on something. I don't know. I don't know. Bricking. 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 Yeah. Unbricking. Bricking. <laughs> Bricking all those trays. <laughs> yeah. I'm cramping. That's what it was. So many bricks. Your water? You had it. Oh, did you set it here? This is yours over here. It's like fatter than mine, so. So weird. Is it like a 20 ounce instead of 16.9 or something? Or looks fatter. So it's just a little bit bigger. It's a 20. It's a 20. Mm -hmm. I wish I had not a place in the time Probably be a good idea. Hmm? That he's going to enjoy the freedom of having money and not spending it on some other person. <laughs> so I probably didn't do that anyway. Lessons were learned. Till she says yes, no money. Till then, you're just hanging out. You're just friends. Friends go Dutch. <laughs> I spent way too much money on girls when I was younger too, so. You tried that on me. It was cute. No, not happening. Hmm? I started working when I was 12. I was certified in CPR and stuff because I, I used to babysit infants overnight. Unemployed? No. No, I used to nanny a lady's kids. She had a three-year-old and a newborn. And as soon as she went back to work, I nannied overnight. Yeah, I played baseball and umpired it. Baseball was my sport. It was my Dude. sport. Not so much anymore. I can't play anymore, obviously. I'm too old for that. Crazy. <laughs> Ron's a baby compared to your dad, then. <laughs> Dude's got the body of a 70-year-old. Yeah. Ron's Ron, old too. Ron is old too. He he says he's that old, but he's got the body of like an eighty year old at this point. Deterioration, all them years all that playing basketball. Heavy usage deteriorating it. He is. He's trying to. His son play. Will be next year, so he'll. He's trying to make sure the Lakers can draft his son. His son's not that good, though. Bronny. Yeah, Bronny is not good. Bronny would not get drafted in the NBA if his dad wasn't LeBron. Yeah. That's why Bron's got to stick around. <laughs> yeah. Oh. 
Huh? He's not. Yeah, he's not that tall. Which anymore, if you're under six eight in the NBA. Yeah. Well, the thing is, you got to be like six four to six ten in the NBA. If you're too tall, you can't play either. Like centers don't go to the NBA. Yeah. Like UConn's got a seven foot center back in high in college, and he dominates in college, but he won't go to the NBA. Too big. Translate. Translate. Does not translate to NBA. Sorry for all the sports talk. Who? Wibinyama. Victor Wibinyama. Yeah, but he moves like he moves like he's. Yeah. No, that man's got moves at that height. Is that high school? A traditional kid? seven foot tall center. Yeah. Does not go to the NBA. They just I stay there. in the center. I stay in the paint. Yeah. Move like it's slow mo. I got it. <laughs> now I don't play sports. I just harvest. I just plant things. You harvest things. Plants. I grow thousands and thousands and thousands of plants. Team sports teach you a lot of things in life. How to work as a team, number one. How to get along with people you necessarily don't like. That's workforce for the most part. Not this place, but. Let's hope not. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow, that went sideways. Well, the answer is in the cabbage. Found it. Found it. Hand harvesting for the win. Hmm? The hand harvesting for the win. Wouldn't have seen that otherwise. Yeah, workforce for sure. Yeah, in general, yeah, it helps. Hmm. Those are grocery store cabbage. So those will go in the bin with the other grocery store cabbages in there. And then the other cabbages need to come out and get boxed when you get a chance, but we'll get those boxed first. Okay. Wait till he works for a big company. He'll miss the mom and dad really fast. Unless he's Wait built like Phil. Cut throw for sure, yeah. They definitely can be. Big companies? Psh, nobody likes those. He worked for Old Navy, so he understands. Caddy girls. Yeah, he learned corporate real fast. It was not a pleasant experience. Mm. Yeah. He, worked, he worked in retail. That was bad enough. Yeah, yeah. Re retail will teach you a lot of things. Yeah. You're ruining my life. Yeah. That one's interesting. I'm not getting anything out of this, ma'am. I just get paid to work here. And I get fired for not doing my whole job. So... Yeah, that's what managers for. That's what they're paid for. Dealing with stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm 
Um, I'm gonna have to start dumping trays while I go. Some point. Soon. Yeah. Sooner than later. We're getting kind of crazy. Getting kind of crazy. Had to put the peas up top. No more room down below. Yeah. I think tomorrow's a 5 a.m. or it's looking like tonight's a midnighter and tomorrow morning's a 5 a.m. or are we just work all night? 50-50. 50-50 on that. Let's take a vote. <laughs> vote in the chat. Are we harvesting for the week? The rest of the week? Uh, what'd you do on your spring break? I harvested. <laughs> hey, tell you what, traditional farm kids right now, they're in the working. You know mm -hmm. it. That's for sure. Spring break is during planting season. Uh -huh. You know it. I had a lot of friends that were farmers. You get in a nice 72 degrees. I was say, you don't <laughs> even have to deal with any other weather. You get the perfect weather. Year round. It's not over here. I know. We've got the breeze. Why well, do you think I'm on this side? I know. <laughs> <laughs> When you sleep, others are awake. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yes. Okay. It does now. I'll take that one. Okay. I was giving that to you. Right now, the the right side of the world is asleep. While the left is awake. <laughs> uh, shenanigans. Work hard now, so you can play later. Yeah. You always say that. Yep. Repeat that. We definitely do that. Eventually we'll hire. We probably should. But also this money's not coming in for, you know, 30 days from today, this week. So wouldn't necessarily have the money to pay an employee either until down the road. A couple, you know, three weeks in or so. So probably we'll start looking to hire here soon and start doing some interviews. Because just looking at how long this has taken us, we need more hands. Jordan's off today. Huh? Jordan's off today. I mean, he can get in here for his investment. He can dump trays. He can dump trays. Huh? That's true. Don't let him dump the peas. <laughs> he did that in the house. Mm-hmm. All I'm thinking is next week is going to be so much better. Why? Because this soil sucks. Yeah. So the edges are falling and dry and the middle yes. is like soaking wet on some of these that I'm having like not soaking wet, but it's wet more yeah. than I would want it to be. Yeah. Oh, this and soil sucks. Just not yeah, not ideal. Hopefully we get another two in tomorrow, so I don't have yep. to worry about that. Two more pallets in tomorrow. Yeah, this stuff is it doesn't distribute right. No. There's like just that little bit of moisture, and I just don't like it. Well, the humidity is also up. Yeah. Too, so that's part of it. Never got the humidity down. 
Now, and the other piece, the bolt in it. Ah! Dang it. The one issue with tamper resistance, they like to break on the back end, even when you're trying to plant a harvest package. Usually I can get them apart, but that one just tore faster than I could get it. There's some packages that come in like compressed yeah. majorly. Got him. This one's too dry. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. I was gonna say maybe a little bit operator error. Maybe a little bit. Have to look into I mean, that. it took me it took me two hours to figure out how to use Chris Troll in the box truck, so Oh, did you ever figure it out? Yeah, doors open. Yeah. Good, good yeah, I figured it out when I left uh, like, uh, Wally's. Yeah, start working on about the X100 when it starts getting wonky. Yeah. It does. I don't care. I just move over and it speeds up when it speeds up. Sorry about your luck behind me.
can you make it through or I gotta move this? Did you hit? Yes, boxes today and things that go with the thinkings, you know. So like individual cabbages and then box cabbages too, case cabbages. Did it roll back again? My watch tries to open up all the time. Peas touching it. The peas. <laughs> Just checking the time. Oh, it's time for you. Oh, it's time. It's that time. Barely waiting, getting under seven ounces per day. Yeah. 
Well, I knew this order is going to be lower. Yeah. Thank you, BFG. Right? She's the only one to go away from. Yeah. I mean, you get hold of that other company somehow. I, mean, I really want to do business with you. I'm hoping you can do it. Because these guys are horrible and they cost me money. Yeah. Oh, we're behind. No big deal. Do, do, do. Oh, you're just a few days behind. No, it's not. It's just a few days behind. That puts people in a bad position. And not say, hey, we're running a few days behind. We need you to order earlier. We still have the promise date saying that we're going to send it this day. Yeah. What's, what's the point of a promise date? You're not going to be promising if you're not going to deliver on it. Yeah. Do we do you do, you, do anything for not making it? Nope. No. So then, so What's you got a Callahan promise. You're going to start stacking them just with their flap. Closing them. Why are you putting so many in there? You oh, okay. Put 10 in. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. I was just like, what is happening? What is happening over there? <laughs> You're going to just tape around the sides. It'll be fine. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Cabbage, you'll be fine because you're ahead. So I'm gonna see if ways. I can make up like a case of radish for the kids' cabbage. Yep. Well, we. So, did you want to hold radishes in, or hmm? not finish off the partial case, or or do the partial case and have it half radish, half cabbage type thing? Yeah. Just make a mark on the box. I like that. I like it. Don't uh, not the last radish one. The one that's gonna have partial. We're gonna partially. You can partially load that with the cabbage that's in there. The Fill cabbage the part of it. Yeah. We're gonna mix cabbage. it. Just need to know how many's in there. So right on the outside the box with the marker. How much? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So that way they also know you get a mark like black marker. Well, they know well, we're going to tell them it's going to be 30 in a case, but if it's a split case, we need to tell them. Unless it's a split case, which, you Unless know, they're used to split cases, I'm sure. Yeah.
I could always do more peas. That box looks like he's going to fall. He's like pushing himself off. Don't stack anymore, Runner. He cannot go anymore. <laughs> Until he gets in where you can be more secure. Yeah. Shove him in a corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what, 19 radish, 11 cabbage. So stick a cabbage label on it as well. Where the label is. Oh, you don't have a label on it yet. Apparently not. Well, stick a radish label on it as well. Radish on the one side. The cabbage. Because I only used 11 labels, so. <laughs> Could add 12. <laughs> I made 12 boxes. Cabbage. That's four eighty, right? Ooh, yes. Nah, it became yeah, a nine. It'd be fine. It, which? What is that box? It's turn. Is it turn backwards or no label? Oh, eight. Eight. eight times 30 is 240 plus another 240. So that's 480. Yeah, Probably. Nine times 30. Nine times 30, 270. That's not right. Okay, you have how many that are in cases in the walk-in? I think nine. Is there nine sweet peas in here? Uh, eight. 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 Eight, so 240. 240. Plus. Plus. 120, right? Yeah, 120. 120. That's only 360. Yeah, 360. I thought that was 480. <laughs> Disappointed now. Yeah, you were close. But yet so far. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. He's tall enough. It ain't going to be me pulling him now. Yeah, well, no, he. Is there Just the top the of the radish or the cabbage, whichever Either one. Either one. Mm, not with it open, but you know, you don't want to go that high just because you'll hit the ceiling where there's some condensation that, that happens. Moisture. So you don't want to go that's as high as you want to go. Here, just I know just because you got to have one more, and that's going to be the split box up top here. So you can have the flaps open. Well, no, that would be close. One more sweet pea, and then yeah. put that one. Yep. So I can do nine. Nice. Yep. Yep. Put them in there to the side. Just don't put them in the mountains yet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, you go ahead and do that now. Yeah, grab cabbages.
Yeah. Definitely. Did you take helped. the metal part off? Oh, no, I just pulled it down even further. Oh, okay. I keep racing myself. Um, no. What? I did not bring any more cabbage leaves. No, we can. We'll definitely need more printed. Yeah. Label what you can. I don't know how many we got necessarily. So the total number is 352 minus. Divided by six. Oh, minus some others. 286. Yep. And then whatever you have there. How many? Huh? 28. 258. Divided by six. You need 43 pages. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 43 pages of cash. There should be something in there already, but probably not enough. Oh, I printed the uh, paid plain paper stuff for those oh. tags for yeah. a minute. You should take that stuff out when you're done with it. I think I left the drawer open. Did you remove them labels? The li they're sitting right on top. I mean, no. Did you remove the ones you put in there to print? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I think it's got plain paper in it right now. Check it out. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Make sure you do download with that one. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I was just making sure you removed them labels because me, if you didn't, I would have been in there printing. Well, I had left the drawer open where I had pulled that out. Yeah. It wouldn't have gotten very far, it wouldn't have printed. Well, I wouldn't notice the drawer open, but I don't like. Yeah. I might have just shut it. Probably. Yeah, probably. Otherwise, they'll throw themselves all over the floor. 
He's only got these labels right now, so I don't even get that, but he'll catch up. He'll catch up. Sunflower and peas now are a full day. Hmm? Sunflowers and peas a full day. Normal working person full day. Yeah. So that's one person we need. Yeah. Because this would be an easy task to show somebody how to do this. Start with. Even sunflowers would be quite easy. Sunflowers wouldn't be too bad. We can have that clean. We can have two people over there harvesting too. Hmm? Clean off, you know, that that wasn't stuff on it. The harvest table. Yeah. Clean that up and have people harvesting over there as well. Yeah. Try to clean it down really good from harvesting. Uh... Yeah, about that. Now we got a few more peas to go. <laughs> Just so more. Just so many peas. You got to have orders done before today. No, cannot do that again. That's an hour. Yeah, it's an hour before I got started. It's a big difference. Yeah.
What are the ones behind you, behind me, over here? Peace. That's all peace. It's all peace. So many peace. <laughs> and I have cabbages behind me. Right now. The cabbages. Yeah, they grow like perfect size. Like this age, they're just perfect. You nine days. Nine days. Nine days, and they fit in the package beautifully. Average about 16 ounces out of peas. Normal week. This week with a not as great soil, we're getting about 14. So that's not too bad for peas. Not too bad when you average it over 90 trays, though. That's 180 ounces. So it is, it is quite of a difference. You're doing better than me. Yeah, nine, ninth day. Peas are in day number nine. Most of our grows are 10 day grows. Um, yeah. We found that peas just get long for no reason at 10 days. You end up having to trim them down anyway. So if you can grow them for nine, you don't have to cut them down. Sunflowers were at eight days now. Yeah. Greener harvest seeds and dominum. Eight days, they're they're getting ready to pop their true leaf, so they have to be harvested day eight. Boom. Boom. Huh? How close? Um, oh, <laughs> there's still more on the shelves back there. We're, we're, we're getting there. Closer than when I was. I'm two thirds of the way there. Yeah. It's been four hours. Almost four. Almost. Not quite. <laughs> but yeah. It's a lot of peas. Yep. We are going to feed a lot of families. Yep. Nutritious food that they probably never had. Uh, yes, yeah, and they also deliver they it to people, too, that can't get out. They do deliver it to people who can't get out to need home services. Yep. Yeah. They just go to different districts, different counties that they take. And I think they got multiple buildings in some of the counties. Yeah. Because counties are big. So for distribution. Yep. Yep. So they find different ways to distribute the food. Um, between like food drives where you come up and get a box of food, or sometimes they just have where you come up whenever you have a problem. You know, some of them have that where you can just go whenever you feel like you have to go. But And the good ways. thing it's going to go to all Illinois families. So yeah, it's only Illinois. They can only distribute it to the Illinois side. So well, Missouri got their money too. I mean, they every state got money for this grant, and they just chose which way they wanted to use the money. So St. Louis Food Bank is one of the biggest distributors in Illinois because of the area they well, cover. Well, they cover the Metro East too. And they took over for a lot of food banks that shut down and stuff. So they take over and provide for people. So a lot of grocery they get a lot of stuff in grocery that are like two days away from being expired or a day away. And they take that and they distribute it out that they donate to them. Keep the food from going to waste.
a lot of baked goods. I see so many baked goods going to these fancy food stores. Yeah. Which is probably not the best thing, but it's food. Yep. Back in the day when I was trying to do like uh, stuff in St. Louis for with box truck or van or something, I should have got that thing. You know how much money I could have made? I'm a reaper. Oh my god! Nobody has like me doing hot shot runs with reaper. Oh. Make bank. You probably wouldn't have been doing this. No. <laughs> True. They didn't have them back then, though. No. One crate. Yeah. Because that cabbage, you can probably fit all the cabbages into one shallow for the retail. Also, a huge tax write off, which is a win as well. Everyone is kind of helping out. Food shelters. Yep. Yeah. It is awesome. Unfortunately, it just keeps getting more and more of a need. Yeah, the grocery stores are doing it out of kindness, but also they get to write that stuff off at cost. They know what they're doing, but it doesn't go to waste, so that's a plus. Yeah. I knew a little bit about grocery stores, uh, but boy, I've learned a lot over the last three, four years now. Being able to the back and talking to the receivers and the produce people, the store managers. The receiver knows everything. Everything about everything. the whole company. <laughs> the guy in receiving is the guy to know. Or gal, I guess. There's a couple girl receivers. Question. Too. Yes. Generator. Generator. For the reaper. Possible. Good thought. I'm sure you could gather a couple of volunteers from the food bank to help. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe. You guys help harvest. It is going to you. Most of it. Most of it. Most of it's most of it's going to the food bank. Like most of what we did today is, yeah. Yeah. Ninety five percent of what we're doing today is going to the food bank. Yeah. Banks. Banks. Got multiples. Plural. Plural.
But it's a great grant program because we still get to get paid. Because obviously we couldn't donate all of this. We would go under really fast. Yeah, really fast. We're glad we can produce the food fast for the food bank so they could uh, spend the money, spend that, the money that they have to spend in these three months so they can get it for two years. Because you know, government takes forever to get something out. Then they're like, oh, you got to do it all in three months. That's your six months reporting that you're supposed to do. You're supposed to spend it all in six months, but we're only giving you three. Yeah, we're only going to give you three months. We expect you to spend every bit of that budget. And if you don't, you know, we're not handling it properly. Thus, we won't give it to you again. Yeah. So it's a good three months for us. We'll use that to grow more. Yeah, we'll use that to get distributors and all that stuff, get the infrastructure built up for that. Yeah, most volunteers at food banks are either elderly with time or good young people, young church groups. Yeah, yeah. even people just like to volunteer. You know, a lot of uh, people ain't got nothing to do sometimes. Maybe they're stay at home or whatever. There's a lot of that. There's a lot of that. But it's probably mostly elderly, yeah. In church groups. In church groups. Yeah. Especially the breadline. Breadline's mostly the older generation. Yeah, breadline for sure. Got a really good breadline here. St. Demar de Porus. They do very good. They got a little food bank. It's mm -hmm. all independent, not government funded at all. All donations. That's all donations. Yep. Good people in the good community service. You sure you could get certified to write off community service hours. I'm sure. Yeah. Do you like Goodwill? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Goodwill, the greatest company plan ever. You buy nothing, you sell everything. Most of your people that work for you are volunteer are uh paid by the government. Paid by the government or something because they need work hours or something. So like Great business model. Like the business model. Not hating on him. I mean, he could matter to make a little bit less, but you know, can't fault him for doing the rules that he used the government's rules. So, not for profit doesn't mean you don't make money. Yeah, this the company's not making a profit. It doesn't mean you can't get paid. When I get this round of 20 done, I'll have 480, and I only have like 87 more to go, something like that. 460, 460, 566? Yeah, 86 after this round of 120. So what we should have done with the family. We should have said you come up for Easter, but you got to help harvest. Eat after, we're done eat after we're done harvesting. <laughs> Easter dinner's after we're done. Yes. You got to harvest them. <laughs> You're like, there was no eggs in them. Oh, man. I, you must have, like, threw it away. <laughs> we'll try it again. I'll be better. I swear. You get one egg.
Yeah. But I do support them. They're not bad, bad, and they're they tax they tax everything and send me a twenty five percent off one item next time I go. Yeah. Yeah. Like there's still the support is still there, it's still needed because there's a lot of people working there that need to work. Uh, still the benefit to the community. community yeah. Still kinda yeah, it plays within the rules. Plays within the rules. Never mad at somebody for playing within the rules. Zero. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe that, yeah. You're going to be working a full day. It's hey, How long does it take you to normally do dishes? Five hours, okay. Three times, three times that at least. Probably four times that. So that's like 16 hours to do dishes. Yeah. Well, I didn't have you scheduled for Tuesdays because you're yeah. normally have choir stuff, but I just had you scheduled for Wednesday, Friday. I think. I don't know. I have to look at it again. Wednesday, Saturday. Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off, and then Saturday. I know you're trying to go thrifting at least one of the days. What girl are you taking? <laughs> huh? See, two. Two girls. Stud. <laughs> I'm sure it is. The last of the peas won't take that long, though, because they're going to go and bend for mixes tomorrow. Much faster process there. Yep. I'm making them so fast. I need to make them faster, so. Yes. You can come in and work all day Wednesday. It's just the same hours. Just 
Just don't try to zoom through. Make sure you're getting them clean. I mean, I do need every single one of them trays to play in and again. So, I mean, I just did the only ones that was right there, and there's a few of orange ones there. There's like 20 that I didn't plant it. The other ones I didn't open because I'm not opening them, just have them set on the shelf. Don't need them. So, that just lends to getting relaxed and getting stuff done. Yeah. Who does? Why are you interviewing him? Oh, okay. What's his story? Oh. He was homeless for a while. Then you lost him for a while. Then I went from that. It's hard to hard to find him. They're homeless, you know. They move around. Did he find a place to stay? Sounds like he's got a good story to tell. Yeah. Well, uh, people are in positions where they when we when we own Penn Station. One kid that won the scholarship from us oh, yeah. was he was homeless. Like he he was living in an abandoned house. Uh, because his family got kicked out and everything else. So he lived in a bed in the house. No shower, no nothing. Else. So he would run all the time because he didn't have anything else to do. So he became a runner because he just ran all the time. And he'd go to school early in the morning. He'd run around the track and everything else because he's playing for sports, you know, for track and cross country. But basically he ran to get to show he was getting sweaty so he'd go take a shower at school because he couldn't take a shower anywhere because he didn't have running water. And then the school nurse was letting him do laundry at the school. School, yeah. She found out, so she let him start doing laundry there and stuff. So can't exactly afford a laundromat as a homeless. And then with our scholarship and the scholarship he got from Stanford, he got a full ride in uh, some biomedical. Institute. Yeah. Full yeah. ride scholarship. Yeah. He just naturally was gifted in, in intelligence, but a lot of them people fall in the cracks. Even if they have intelligence. Even if they're very, very smart kids. There's no support. Yeah. Um, Thankfully, me would not be that. Never got to stay up with him because, you know, we got out of pensations shortly after that, so... I don't even think they do that anymore. Student athlete. Yeah. Mm. Sucks to be them. Be careful what you do. Who you get rid of.
Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Starting to happen. I actually did my work. Well, you know, doing the work helps. Crazy. Nowadays, journalism, you can do that kind of stuff, like, and don't have to work for somebody. You don't have to try to go get a newspaper job and take three weeks to write an article, and they're like, ah, we don't like it. Did your interview? Yeah. Yeah, they're... Interviewed from the Illinois Times. And barely told any of our story. Or told, like, little snippets and stuff like that, and then, like, he didn't even get credit as who wrote the article. In the, in the article, they didn't even put his name of the guy getting this, the writer. Yeah. I would quit. I want to be work for them. Yeah. They gave him zero cred. Like, they just wrote their article very quick little snippets of everything that he did. And our snippet was, I mean, he spent like 10 minutes with me, and it was like uh, four or five sentences. But they had the bakery's front and center. You're doing. Putting my hands for a quick second. You got no time for that? She's got to do cabbages, brassica, broccoli, kale. Every moment we take to play on the phone is every moment that we're slack, you know, getting something done. Eighty six more to go. You got to really, really, really dry your hands. I'd rather have that than powder. Powder. Oh. Too many years of that. It dries out your skin. Mm-hmm. Do you go to the bathroom with that on? Yeah. 
Yep. You want a lab mic too? No. no. <laughs> so wait, no, no, I did not. It makes it much better than trying to have a mic yeah. sitting out here. And then it only picks us up. We can have like the dehumidifier be right next to it. It won't pick it up. Mm -mm. Nope. Laughed at nothing. We're just over here laughing. It was going delirious. Gross checks. Huh? Gross, Jessica. Sorry. Laugh aloud joke. <laughs> okay. You guys ever think you would be harvesting at this scale? No. 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 Definitely not. Uh, Definitely not this fast, for sure. Not going from tripling the business like this, this fast. I was hoping we get a slowly, which we have we slowly, slowly building, and then it's like, boom. We're waiting and waiting and waiting and playing the hurry up and wait game. And then suddenly, we're waiting. No wait. We literally like, we're like, oh, we're just not even going to bank on this. We're just going to move on. Started trying to get gap stuff done and get the distributors going. And then? No. I'm on the home stretch doing my last 86 of these and Doing 86 P's would be a very, very good week uh, up till now. Like, you're like, wow, 86 P's, usually, you know, 50 or so during summer, 60 maybe. Just out at the farmer's markets and stuff, but 86 would be a great week. 86 months a year, like crazy good week. Not 566. 566 P's today. Almost averaging total of four dollars per pack. So you, you can do the math how much we're getting on peas. And we could have charged the food banks more. We could have went all the way up to five dollars, but we thought it was fair to do four. It's beneficial for everybody. More we get more products out to people this way. It's definitely better. Because they were going to spend the same amount of dollars with us no matter what. It was a dollar thing, not a what we what they're getting thing. They told us get you know this is what we want to spend divided over thirteen weeks and whatever you want to bring us. Please bring us lettuce <laughs> when you can. That's that's only request. This is under production, but again, lettuce takes longer, and we had to take a break. We didn't know when it was going to happen. If I would have had farmer's markets going on, I still would have been high production of uh, lettuce, though, if it was summer. Because yeah. I would have sold it all at the markets. And then I would have been able to just turn over and sell it to the food banks. Yeah. But now we're planting just over probably about 1,800 seeds of lettuce a week. Yeah, right about 1,800. And it's all will go to the food bank, so. 
which to be honest with you, that's going to be quicker and easier to harvest. I'm sure the back of all shoes probably still squeaking around. Can you guys hear his shoes squeaking? He wants to know. Is he balling or not? This kid has some of the squeakiest shoes I've ever heard. The basketball shoes. Yeah. What is the edible flowers roll like? Uh, squeaky clear. <laughs> is it here? Or is it... <laughs> Does that mean you can hear them or clear of squeaks? Edible flowers, um, they're a long grow. We have restaurants that love them. Kind of live over there. We moved their system into a vertical system. Yep. That was also another thing we did on Thursday. Yep. Moved them from the big system uh, that was more horizontal to vertical. A vertical system, so there's three tiers on one rack. Once you get them growing, they're they're pretty simple. When growing started, nutrients occasionally when they stop blooming, give them a little extra boots. Make sure they get full darkness at night, and then light cycle, you can get flowers. Watch your bed. Full darkness at night. Yeah, is, that's during the day. Time. New dates for yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday. We're out delivering. Because we run our lights at night, so just to save on heat yeah. is mainly where we came up with it. And plus, we like harvesting right after the lights go off. So, again, Joe went into detail on the podcast on that as well. Tomatoes are closed. After you mentioned it, I noticed it. Sometimes buildings make beeps, noises, every right, now and then. Sounds like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you, there's a lot of building noises, especially when the gym's going. Yeah, so his squeaks are background noise. Sounds of the warehouse. Sounds of the warehouse. Sounds of the growing area. Yeah, people get it out of the neighbor's yard. When did Dave get his haircut? Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. We are very accurate in our assumptions. Best place to live next to the cops, right? Be friend the cops. Oh no, he probably knows. He probably knows. Or maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe he's not Yeah. Some dude walking around looking for him. That yeah. Pretty sure he was looking for Dave. Last of the tape. So, no suspect. Tape. Get more tape. Get more tape. To tape these boxes. Because we thought we had plenty of tape. We had two big rolls of tape for the boxes, and um, apparently that's not enough. So, not even. 
Not even close. Yeah. Not just not enough. Not even close. Yeah. Oops. And guess what today is? Everything's closed. Are they? Do they have that? I don't have time to get there. I was going to say, but the problem is like going to there. No one has time to go there. I'm 90% sure they're open because the uh, county market guy was like, he has to look He said it's oh, no, he... some Walmart that's open. Because he was going to Easter. I don't know, first time's closed. Yeah. Oh, no, they're open. Wait, no. They're open. They're open too. They were open too. Because everybody forgets what they need for Easter. Yeah. Um, no, don't use the little tape. We need him for other things. Yeah, no. No. Yeah, that would be like. You're just going to have to fold them down and stack them on top of each other. Yeah, so. Down, set another one on top of him. Hold on. Oh, wrong way. Oh, that's right. Might look like a bomb. But it works. It closes it. They take turns. One, two, three. One under on one side and one over on the other side. And across straight. Okay. Yeah, that did not. <laughs> no. That did not compute at all. Not at all. See the blankness in his eyes. <laughs> that door did not stay open either. You get that put away, dear. That's been sent over. Why is that stuff still set out? Well, they're going there. Yep. I would never say before, like, 86. I just got 86 to do. And I just got, like, you know, 66 to do. That's, you know, that's nothing. Never thought I'd say that either. Now powerhouses are pretty fast, now that we make the mix together. Ultimate, ultimate and crunchy now take forever. They used to be the quick ones. Uh, when you get, before you get done with them cabbages, can you get wheatgrass out? Yeah. It needs to go bad. It's more than ready. It's more than ready. I didn't see them earlier like that at all. Like that just started popping like that. Yeah. I looked over there. I'm like, 
They're ready to come out. Put a glove on. Well, when somebody says something before it happens that it's not their fault, if it happens, it's definitely their fault. It's Easter, you know. Hmm. What holiday is it though? Sorry, I'm on, I'm on YouTube. I can't say my opinions, my my thoughts on some things. Happy New Year tomorrow. And that still is not accurate. But... Closer. My question. Where's he pushing? On a shelf that has lights. Yeah. yeah. There ain't nothing going on him right now, so. I'm missing a rack, I feel like. Oh no, it's got it's got your extra lettuce stuff on it. That needs to go. Yeah. I was like, man, you should have a second one that's that big too. Yeah. Um No? No. It should have. Where's that came out of the cooler? Where'd it go? There's that one. Oh no. It's it's this one. Oh, it's the. Then we tore that rack. one down and made it a flower rack. Yeah. So yeah. You're right. Yep. Yeah. We've moved so much stuff around. We don't remember where stuff's at now. We're missing entire racks, but not the things we might need. Yeah. The one packaging rack. Yeah, we that one can be used. We need one for like the top also. Yeah. Too. Not anymore. Packages live on a pallet now. Because we go through that much. Yeah. Pallets of packaging. Okay. Things you don't think you're going to need. Yeah. Definitely very handy. Yep. It made it much easier to move stuff around in here. Andy has a pill on Jack. He got given give it to him. It's a gift. He also thought they were more expensive than what they are. Yep. Yeah, I was just thinking getting a generator. Mm -hmm. Gas generator or something that would generate it. That would, and then you can just go home and plug it in too. Until we can get an electrician and put actual plugs in here and there. About the stove,
56 more. Got like a countdown going. Well, now he's going to be Ben and he's after this. Yeah. How did you see what I had done? Hundred twenty plus. I have sixty more. So, right? There's sixty that were. Sixty in there. In there. Already in packs. Already in the boxes. <laughs> How many do you need? I need to make 150 people. All right. Well, there's 11 that aren't going to be considered in 50 pounds. They don't count. They're just making up for the lack of friends. Yes. All right. Uh, well, Did you not? No, there's two. Then there are two carries of 60? Yeah. He used 11 out of that one. So I need oh. to add 11. So okay. I need to do 151. Okay. I was confused. Math. 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 clean? Where are them from? Oh, okay. okay. I thought they were dirty. I just. <laughs> yeah. Smart to get them out there now because they probably would have been thrown back in to get clean.
Oof. Test, test. There we there go. go. Okay. So the lav mics died. <laughs> so they're about eight hours. Eight hours. Mm -hmm. They're not working right. They work one more time after you use the back. Yeah. I'll have to have you look at them. Yeah. You know what I just have you look at them? I haven't taken time to look at them. Oops. One receiver is not. I had a problem with that too. So you probably got sound, but I don't know if it's going to be good sound. Uh, yeah. Some sound, not great sound. We'll get them. Uh, they don't usually take too long to charge. Yeah, I've got them going. Oh, well, they charge without me pulling their oh. cases charged. Oh, yeah. Sure pause. Be Do you guys have a warehouse for all of this? We're in a warehouse right now. Yeah. Sound is good. Awesome, Christina. So you're looking at the back quarter of the warehouse right now. In total, it's 4,000 square feet. I did do a warehouse tour recently. It's changed now. So, I was going to say that. Yeah. Yeah. We keep rearranging. Um, You did like a sneak peek on shorts, didn't you? I did. In the last short uh, unboxing. The unboxing shorts. Of uh, boxes of trades. Yeah. I think I need a mini tour. And that was mostly the setup. Yeah. You keep rearranging as we throw and evolve and change and move and all the things. Nice. Thank you. Change it. You're not learning. Dying. Growing and changing. Always no matter if you're 20 or 80, if you're not learning, learning, you're dying. I might throw you in the loony bin, but that's just because I'm on Dress Street. Fast trip, I know. Told him I was going to take him to the loony bin and Dress Street. Oh. <laughs> Meet some really interesting people there. Maybe with multiple personalities. There might be maybe like 12 people in one. Maybe meet a new person every day. Talk to the same person. Talk to the same person, but it's a new person every day. <laughs> Sorry, we've been harvesting you know, for like eight plus hours. So we talk about random stuff as we go along. So yeah, why not? But if you have any questions or anything, you know, put them in the chat. Absolutely. How's everybody Easter? Did you celebrate today? Are you getting ready to celebrate? Do you not celebrate? And it's like one person to do peas and dishes. One person. Fire. And you will do some dishes. It's a 20 hour. Oh. Oh, you can still have dishes to do too. You'll have plenty to do, sir. Able to not care. No. Okay. 
This is our first big harvest uh, of almost 600 trays, roughly close. Plus minus 600. Between today and tomorrow. Kim says, I harvested cilantro, went to church, and had an egg hunt, then washed about 100 trays when we filled them all up for planting tomorrow. That's awesome. That's a good day. You know, we're Babylon, so people get to be Now, if you know our politics. We're putting the case out for them. Tina, did you find a place to sell that cilantro, or did that chef still take it, or how'd that yeah. turn out? How did that go? You have one random. Maybe I got an extra piece. Then they'll find out. I was like, why are we there? Oh, that's when I closed for you, and then you were like, yep. whenever you have a chance, but screw it, back. Yep. Nope. Didn't want it back. 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 Yeah, I guess yeah. it's like a mess. And they walked home. Damn. Then they went the way home. I didn't know you had to break home. Dang, man. Oh, man. Looking for you. Everywhere. Two hours in, a two hour and 30 minute video about this movie. Right? <laughs> They didn't even know they left. They went home, they sat down, watched the TV, and didn't realize it at all. Finally, figure out who this kid is. It's like a little, like little. four years old. Yeah. Like little. Who are you? Got the cops there, trying to figure out what kid it is. What's your, you know, any information. Finally, figure out a phone number for his parents. And they're like, why the so and so had him? Like, no one questioned where this baby was. In the office with me. It looks scary. I'm like, how do you guys not realize? Like, you guys assume that someone else took your kid and that person didn't have your kid and you didn't know that? What is this? It's terrifying. They have like eight kids. Yeah. If they could lose one. If they could afford to lose one? I don't know. I'm like, that's just me, poor little guy. Terrified. I think he was fine by the end of it. He was pretty comfortable with everybody. It's both girl. Yes, he was Oh, he definitely ate. Oh, he got a lot of dessert. Nah. He was sure Oh, yeah. Go me. Here's a bit of Billy Bear. Have at it. Yeah. It's not like that. Every kid is stupid. I'll put that in the shirt. 
Go around and change models as you're going along. Yeah, Just change the thumbs One chef bought some, but I'm hoping it will stay good in the fridge to Wednesday, and I should have a few orders for it. Plus, I'm eating some with tacos for dinner. There you go. Hey. Yeah, I should say just fine. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Yeah. And tacos are always good. Heck, the big boys ship with Cajun Frost and FedEx, so. Yeah. That big California girl. Couple days in your fridge, you'll be gone. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're finding ways to use it still. Put it back in, I'll say, well, chef, it'll be hard to work with. You're trying to find a way to say that just to be. Um. I'm not sure what I think it's printed extra. I actually canceled it at one point because I think it was printing more to computer printed up stuff. So, yeah. so I'm like, yeah. this has to be done. So I canceled it. So I canceled it and like because I think it was, it was like this is taking me too long. I'm canceling. We'll figure out if I have enough or not later. Yeah, the printer was not talking well to the before and yeah. I had to do it. But yeah. They were just not happy. Yeah, he had to restart the computer. Yeah. Nothing was working right. Restarting it was still having issues because Adobe was updating something. Apparently, there's an AI assistant on Adobe uh, Max Why would it be an AI assistant? No idea. What it's for, but it's like, you want to take a tour? And I'm like, no, I'm trying to work right now. My last tray of peas. What printer do you use for labels? I'm starting to make my own. I want to start making my own. Um, so we are now using a brother. Um, it's in the resources, actually. Um, on Growth Bites. On Growth Bites, if you go to that resources list, I have that one linked on there, the one that we use. It is a great printer. When the computer goes. It's just a computer communicating. Yeah. That was not a printer problem. That was not the printer's fault. Running updates and all that. Um, but yeah, that one's great. The one we started with was a little Epson uh, Eco Tank. And he did good for a long time, but at volume, it's very challenging to print that many. And then also, 
waterproof versus water resistant. Yep. The, the laser one is waterproof. Um, inkjet can only be water resistant. He finished cutting the beans. Before you get out of the cabbage. I don't know how this thing. Oh. I love him when you moved him. Oh. And then I have a little bit shorter, so. We'll do another uh, count. Feel, I feel like you're still. You should be getting close. Did you box up the ones in the crates yet? No. Okay. Yeah, they will need to be boxed. A three thirty three. Oh, so yeah. Okay. Show
Maybe I'm stupid. It's a lot to count over and over and over again. Oopsies. So I made five of them. They get kept with it. Those are some sad kind of trivia. They get spelled. I think it was still somehow down to do that. Yeah, I think you double down. Thinking of doing it here Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, Monday. 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 Like they'll do it like that in the school. It's gonna be you want to do it money. Give me another sleep. Another sleep. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'll go here. Go do that. Rick, you spot the purple spot. That's hurts. Hey, guys. Oh. Huh? Oh, yeah. They do not know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Technical stuff. Yeah. That's a situation. One little thing.
found it. Well, your dad has, oh, uh, so the, you need to fill your boxes and the rest of us need to read it. That's fresh, fresh. Yeah. So, whatever box is here. Fill your boxes. Should I have? You have 540 words. I have two boxes, so I don't have to. I don't have to. I don't know. Two seventy nine, you have eighteen boxes. So, yeah, this is six out here. Okay, so one last box. Um, well, you just want to fill five for a There should be 26 for retail. I need how many boxes? So, 540. Yeah, 18. 18 boxes. Eighteen. Fifteen. 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 Yeah, that's eighteen dollars. Did I not do? Well, can they have a clean feed mess up yet? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's got a case missing. Well, it's counting the number. Yeah. <laughs> After a while, the math just isn't math anymore. That is the question. Any 26 for retail and each three short to fill the boxes? Yeah. Confirming. Confirming the math. That's 
Hill's not there today. <laughs> Okay, so, so there's a three for that box. So you need another third in order to do that. Plus 26 more. Plus so I got 56 more to do. Oh, that's <laughs> fun. Fun, they say. Struggling. It should be all the boxes. We found the boxes. Okay, sure. Oops. Possible. Possible. Don't have an extra box. I have oops. And we kept counting my 11. Mm, no, I definitely didn't want that too. Sadly. That's all right. Thank you. 
Like quadruple check the cabbage, please. So if all the boxes get filled, it is what it is. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, there ain't no way I made it. I mean, I thought I had a lot of I probably should have. We should have. That's right. We didn't get very far. Beyond. Yeah. That's all we're going to have to do. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Seem lately that I'm not leaving for all boxes. I mean, I may not be here. All nighter. Oh, we'll just stream all night. Stream all night. Who wants to hang out with you? Back on. So yeah, you have to get turned back on. Twelve hours. And another one. Where's my DJ Cali at? We'll catch a whole different audience. We'll catch Captain Japan maybe back in. Yeah, he might be back. What did you say? Eight hours ago, I Yes, he was only bed. Morning. Time to get up now. Time is in Japan. My phone's charging, but can I ask you? Oh, I'm sure it is. It charges pretty fast. Thank you. 
voice. Not even voice on YouTube. But on my computer, I can just voice on YouTube. Oh. Yeah. On the computer. Just ask it. Just what time is it in Tokyo? Type it out. It is 8.21 a.m. Yep. It should be good enough. You don't better than that. You better be fun. Yeah, it's a solid eight. I could only yeah. imagine. Solid eight hours. It's two days worth. Mm-hmm. I got some. Girl, I got you. Got you. How many you want, boy? Got you. I will have Jordan drop them off to you. I don't think we have 50. I'm not sure. We have plus or minus 42. What? Plus or minus 42. That means you could have 80 for per heart zebra. I mean, it's like. Within like a, we had, we had 50? Oh shoot, I don't know. It's Plus Tassel going on. Guys, I don't think Tassel's going on. No. We had 18 on our first, we had 18 on our first round. So we had 15 and 15. Plus Tassel. So it's 30 plus 18 plus 48. So he was number 49. 49. We lost three reds, a goldie, and a white one. So 45, 44? 43? Somewhere in that round. I don't know. There might be more. There yeah. might be more. They could just show up too. They get mad. Like, are you, they're, boys are like, are you sure these are all ours? I'm like, you know your chickens. Yeah, I know which ones are ours. They give them a bad attitude. There's a woman kind of tight. Yeah. No, we have six chickens. Huh? Yeah, six chickens. And that was in. Is there one in the well again? Yeah. Jordan had to go get a why does she keep falling down the window well? Like suddenly, like a new thing. Like the window well has always been there. And she now has decided that she's going to try to move a human down the hole. All right, all right, who's we're talking? Which one is it? Do you know? Uh, You're going in the hole. Yeah. They should go to fix somewhere like our chickens are they roaming the neighborhood now? Or yep. okay. how many? <laughs> I don't know either. First thing to be said, it was a game on the top of the table. Why are chickens just on there? They were still on the floor entirely. It is not so. 
It all again. Yes, I confirmed it for the fourth time, but I'm not going to make sure we write that one. We do orders. Three hundred and thirty bucks. Yeah, those are in, uh, okay. That sounds like you guys are in the box. So, my other is just ignoring them because we know those. Those are put away in the crate. And Said you forgot about one of our home deliveries? Oh, Sherman? No, we oh. didn't do Sherman either, but um, we, we didn't do Guyana's. Like, completely forgot about her. We just finished planting at that point, so like, I'm like still soaking wet on planting, but. <laughs> I didn't realize on Friday. Yeah, he was going to make dinner. Okay. 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 Did they know? 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 So long, so we delivered them. Seven. 
Because I was looking at it for uh, comments. And if I song back in the day said no diddy it wasn't i didn't think it was bad maybe it was maybe it was well because people were saying no diddy it was yeah. diddy's in a lot of trouble for a lot of years a lot of not good behaviors diddy don't get it oh. diddy took out biggie um Brass to blend, uh, should I go for Yes, please. How many? I have zero, so. Well, like 330. 330. Yeah. Here we never printed this. Yeah. Yes, we can put it in. I'd like to make a nice light shade purple, but. You have to call that jump a little bit. Yeah. Okay, Yeah. 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 Yeah.
before I even make a reference to either. But I also need to get my tax stuff and you know you get two of your jobs. Okay. You speed up with a sort of smart call to get it. Yeah. Maybe we'll just go hop on smart call, they're gonna go through the returns and they're hopping. I've never seen them. I remember seeing them too in the doc because I find them. I find them in DocuSign, but they were never uploaded to the smart phone. So now I have to figure out where that DocuSign is. Wait. I don't sign enough DocuSign to this document. They have to print it out and find it, and then I'll send them the copy. Yep. I assume we'll be able to like, do digital signature. Like, everything I've sent you is digital signature. Really? Fine on my laptop. <laughs> Literally, if you fill in sign, sign it on the laptop screen, then save the signature for him and get him to write it. She got it printed, signed it. Where did you get your knife? Where did what? Where did you get your knife? My knife? That knife, yes. Um, this is a knife from a Amish grocery store. I did find a brand on it. It is a R A D A Rada. It's about seven inches. I don't know model, but I found a name on it finally. What's the name? Um, yeah, we found this. Beachy. We are getting our chickens properly. And the thing is lightweight and easy to use. So, and then, oh, Big Knife is a 11 inch carpet knife. I don't know which knife would work. It's all right. Yeah, so. Uh, but that's a carpet knife from Webster Bond. Right now. Not to do as I say, not as I do, because I'm afraid someone's going to cut a hand off or something if they try to do that. Learn skill. It is a very good learn skill, and I think an extension of your body. A lot of people don't have the knife skills, especially right at the beginning. So I'm always afraid to be like, yeah, I just harvest it like this. And then, like, someone takes a limb off. He's probably just going to bring Yes. <laughs> well, here's it's some the box on the bed thing. Okay. I'm still talking about it. Yeah. 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 The one that was already open. Yeah, it's closed. Yeah. Let me go through those two packs. Open it up. Quite nice, you know.
Pretty sure it's the right, right? In the fridge, Mentally dope. Hey. How, How much more you got? Too much. <laughs> We're trying to get all the boxes that you cannot see, can see, like these boxes filled. filled. And there are 30 for them boxes. So, I mean, there's 11, 22, 33, 33, 33. Oh, no, 33. There's some more behind that set. Broccoli. It's, it's just like 40 some boxes. Kale. 40 something. Something like that. Plus or minus 40. No, 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 no. <laughs> Plus or minus 40. <laughs> Zero or 80. We don't know. Somewhere in that range. Somewhere in that range. <laughs> Quite a bit still. We got a few hours to go. Oh, we got plenty to do today. Well, worth it when the page when the check comes in. So three weeks before we get a check. Uh, yeah. Just keep coming. Just keep coming. Crack my dory. Crack my inner dory. Died, so we had to switch to PC for a while on the audio. They're currently charging. How did these shake hunt go? Uh, the Easter egg hunt. Did anybody cry? We always had kids crying. Oh, someone's crying. You have mirror with my children. Yeah. My kid would take it. I need to smile. What? Maybe. Still print. Legends, I wonder what kind of world record we're working trades is. Yeah, I wonder. For for two and a half people, three people. It was awesome. My son killed me. He's had Having a blast with his toys now. Well, yeah, gl glad you're still here. Glad you have fun. What it's all about, as long as I have fun. Oh, no. I'm 
Uh, what stores do you sell your products? To? A lot. Um, we have yeah, we have what twenty four grocery stores yeah. that we serve, and then we have home deliveries, restaurants. Uh, we have food banks that we're working with right now. So yeah, we, we kind of cover the gamut with customers. We don't have vending machines yet. There's a microgreen drawer that does uh vending machines. You got these in the schools, hospitals. Uh, I do listen to our podcast. You would have this. Um, yeah, so I, I just did you know. Darn. Darn. I'm gonna start saying things about our kids and things. Yeah, uh, talk about our kids during the podcast if you there. <laughs> The big orders we got in those two food banks. Um, we got a three month contract with both of them, um, and they tripled our business. Uh, and it's paid food bank through Illinois grant, like it's USDA grant. Yeah, federal, down to state, down to local. Yeah. It's been a long thing in the making. Everybody got their hand in the pot, I'm sure. I'm sure. But they pay us wholesale or better, is what their the policy is. So, yeah. um, yeah. so apparently, it's this bit. Yeah. These are going to make up whatever sort of. Which we knew we'd probably run short because of the soil. Yeah. Oh, there right now. Yeah. So this is what. The extra box that I put together can be possible. Huh? So much to dump. So many like trades to dump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of trades that need to be empty. Your dad started doing them for a while. Yes, it is. That's like it didn't need anything. No. <laughs> and, and all the heads still on the shelves. We can get garbage, man, for one of these days. On how long things take for each thing. The first week of it. We're learning. You gotta go through the pain of finding how much time things take before you start hiring people. What if you hire somebody and you promise them 30 hours? I really need to do. It's a bad conversation there. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do that. I would, I would reduce how much. I could not do good Yeah. 
arguments. So I wanted to let you know that you are um, going to need a second job. Congratulations. Um, and I'm just uh, getting that now. Because we're going to have 10 hours for you now. I mean, I turn people's hours down because of performance. Do that, sure. I want to let you guys know just real fast, some of you aren't here. Uh, you can go to that pin comment and get in our free group. Uh, it's growth bike, it's school.com slash growth bike. All right, now to the end of the day, we got a $79 offer to join our microgreens group, uh, microgreen business coaching group, and that's school.com slash microgreens. At $79, you get all of our course stuff. You get the marketing course, which is usually stuff for $379 for that. Um, our it's lifetime membership gets that as well. Uh, you get the weekly uh, Zoom calls, and then you get all the other spreadsheets, everything that we do, everything else, all for $79 a month. The longer you're a member, you get that. So great deal. Normally $97 without the marketing course. So check that out, $79 if you would. But if you don't, pick our growth by at least get into that free group, school.com slash growth by. No, because yeah, because they ordered a whole pallet and they got their pallet and we did not that last time. Well, it's like they got a pallet in yesterday. What? It's something different than theirs, but it's different not.
first two words. <laughs> we have not actually had an extra box yet. <laughs> Tina, I want to tell you that I planted my greener harvest cilantro seeds in mesh tray and the root systems are a hundred times better. I think this may be a game changer for me on the cilantro. Awesome. Yes. It does like a good mesh tray. It grows okay without mesh. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Seeing those root systems are amazing, aren't they? Yeah. Josh has seeds especially. Be curious to see what yield you get out of it. Make sure you let us know. Put it in the school group, of course. Well, we just became a distributor too. Okay. Okay. From our location to the warehouse. Big things. It's not being 
parts in the places. Do the yeah, one bot union, right? Finish off. Probably going to pull me off. I might have to figure out the case situation. Sticker, sticker on top of a radish rod. Yeah, probably. Or no radish. Yeah. We had oh, yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there. Well, that could never happen. Now, this would be closer to like not having so many just. No, you definitely have plenty of labels. You get meant to. I can do like a like two or three hour time frame. I can do nine noon to nine or seventeen. Definitely gotta start wiping the front door. Keep a brain walk in there. Thursday? The sales are for the soil company, which is randomly in my warehouse. Just walk in, we were back here. Right? Go, hey, I'm like. I've never seen you before. I'm your sales rep. Like, you, like, yep. you really want to talk to me right now? You guys have been late on the last two deliveries. Y'all forgot some of my deliveries last time. I've had to order ahead. I've got mystery double charges. We do not want to talk. No. Yeah, no, he was just coming over. The double charge dropped off of me. Like, like, dude, you have like an entire pile of soil pending on my car for no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Which takes the money, you know. Yeah, it's like, it holds you know, the money. It holds that money. That money's sitting there pending. <laughs> While I've already got three on work. Order three, charge me for four, and I've gotten zero so far. <laughs> Not a good look, Andy. You don't want to be here. <laughs> don't be visiting me right now. Especially we're getting seat delivery and trying to rearrange the top warehouse. Yeah, I'm in the middle of rearranging the entire warehouse. I've got my seeds that came out of nowhere. He picked like the worst time to pop in. Halfway through moving a pallet of soil of seeds. Have we had a hand Crash a page. So fast,
Can we do a Zoom interview? We can throw it on StreamYard. I don't know how how welcome the kids can be able to stream here. The library? <laughs> no. The public library? Actually, I don't know if this is close. Mm -hmm. That's a good story to end off with. Yeah. Yeah. Just shoot a little bit of a few. It's just about my history. I'm going to show it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's good. 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 If you ever thought you had it hard? You ever had a bad day? Well, let me have his bad worst day in April. Your life is not hard. Stop complaining. No, son, it's not complaining. You never know, you could fall in love. You got hit the like travel, get paid. Did I that's All acting on your day. Nobody's herself. I pretty much am now, but you like me, you know? It doesn't bother me anyway. Can you make my life? I go to school. Yeah. I'm pretty much like seen so well, four year was the highlight of our playing my high school, so it's all over from there. Downhill. All those few minutes ago. I lost my friend to I think they call it now that working out probably was better for you. Yeah. It's just it's good for Trinity, but it wasn't all what it's cracked up to be. I thought she was going to get like a lot of credits in, be able to do two years there. No. The classes for the senior year don't transfer over at all. And that's what everybody was saying. Because it's all this dumb filler class. Like, oh man, she could have like half a semester. No, two years, maybe a full year. <laughs> she got to learn the college lifestyle. Yeah. College was bad too. Oh, I don't really have to do any work. It's so fast classes. Oh. Yeah, probably not best for her. I can go home. Our party is in this year. Huh?
But also, I was don't get me. Also, I was And then people show up to your house. Oh. Mm -hmm. Don't hide from me. Just anybody. Where about that stalker? Stalker alert. My story. Here's my stalker. You're welcome. Got to marry them. So no, literally. No. I made you at one point. It was pretty funny. I'm like, so you want to get married? I was like, so I know you bought me a ring. Yeah, and he proposed. It's been like a week. Bro. You know. I am not a friend. I would be so bad. I'd be mad about that. Okay. He's like, yep. Okay. You want to get married? I was like, yeah, we probably should do that sometime. What? That's not romantic. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Look at Barry. Well, what's the rest of us? Yeah. Well, we already knew that. Hey, this can't be a good Bank. Bank well, we yeah. already had a joint bank account. <laughs> Very expensive first thing too. Yeah, I got my mom's ring. And then I went and had a divorce of attitude and felt special. We had some sparkles to it. Yeah. Northwest Plaza Mall. Yeah, yeah. One of the two. It was it was pretty pretty. Yeah, that mall went sideways. Are they open? Yeah, it's as soon as possible. So, um, we have a cash card. Yes, you have cash? No, no, grab my card or you got my card over it? Mm, I don't think I have your card. Hey, Trevor, What's the number? I need that. Oh, 
the marketing class that we had it. She has show last time. Okay. So, 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 I'm to go back and slide it up. Y'all, don't be stealing my stuff. I know, I know. You got six people on here. I know you know all your names, know all your information now. <laughs> I see some crazy charges. I don't even look for No, go with that, you. I'm looking at you, Bob. Sorry. I got an extra look. <laughs> So there's an extra 30 plus an extra 11. You put in there box. just for box. What's that? <laughs> Is always the first thing is lost. I don't think it's going to be with the rest of that. Definitely got to get here. Definitely got to get here. We do. Like, you can catch up later. The actual harvesting is the part that takes time. There's a few seconds here and there that adds up. In a couple of minutes, and Kitty Lane is printed ahead. And Thank you. 
Yeah. Where is that? What does it say? Oh, hey guys, we did not stay. It doesn't say it anywhere, does it? Red timer. Oh, 10 hours. Any time I try to practice with that, 
I'm 
Did Papa and Mom love right? Right here. Come on, right here. This part over you. Bunch. A whole bunch. Is that a whole bunch? Do you remember? Does it look like we've emptied that many trees? We
Oh. Okay, I can dump more. All right, I want to leave you guys with this video. And one second. Uh, I've got to switch audio. So lap mic. All right. Hopefully you guys can hear that okay. What's going on this week? We'll be right back. Dinner. So I have to drive right by the Ace Hardware on the way home to and, and from, from the dog, dog park. park. So, so um, the, the Coco Loco is going, going for twenty four ninety nine back down, down here. Oh, that's, that's not bad. Too bad. Hey, retail? Yeah, that's yeah, not that's bad. bad. Yeah, retail. Yeah. Yeah, yeah our pot shots have it at 40 40 32 to forty dollars. Thirty five. Thirty five dollars. Yeah. Yeah, I saw some folks on the chat in the you know, in the forums today talking about $37 a bag. I'm like, what? Our first bag we bought was $36 to test and see if we wanted to use it. Was this, let's test it, see if we want to use it before we buy a pilot. And, you know, so, uh, yeah, so it's expensive. You get it at the shops. Well, I feel like I'm getting good results with what I'm using, but for the sake of science, I just want to almost just try it out. You know, just so yeah. that I can be like, okay, you know, have some real world comparison. Like, yeah. like would it really make a difference? You know, yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> why you say that? But I got, I got nine point three ounces with my broccoli. That's true. Yeah. Maybe you're going to get eleven or twelve. 
Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome? Yes. Yes. Uh, then, low-carb low carb wrap quesadillas. I respell that. <laughs> Top of the, I got it. I understand. Cheddar cheese and guacamole. Costa Maine products is awesome if you can find it in town. Yeah, Costa Maine, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Can you find that down there, Lorena? Yeah, no, we, we can't get it here. No, we can't get it here. We're nowhere near the coast of Maine. No. Uh, neither am I. <laughs> <laughs> It would have to be called Gulf of Mexico down here. Yep. So. <laughs> you know, the first time I ever went to the panhandle of Florida, Tallahassee, mm -hmm. I got off the plane and it was snowing. Yeah. I was like, what the crap? Was that 2012 or something? Oh, uh, probably close to that time, Brady. Right? There was an uh, alleged blizzard. No. It yeah, they probably called it a blizzard. It actually <laughs> they called it a blizzard. Yeah, an alleged blizzard. And it did actually snow at the time I was living in Auburn, Alabama, I think. And we had snow that stuck. It so. was 2007, 2008, somewhere like that. Yeah. 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 But it, it, it snowed and like it was it was cold, but it didn't stick or anything, you know, but, you know, people in Florida at that point were, you know, freaking out. Oh, yeah. Panic we're, code. We're in, yeah. Schools are shut down. Buses are shut down. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, you don't have the stuff to deal with it though. That's the thing. You know? Yes. We lack the infrastructure and literally all of our like telephone electricity is all above ground. So yeah, it's all done for. Yeah. 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 But I was like, First time going to Tallahassee, Florida, I step off the plane and it's snowing. I'm like, what? What, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I just left cold. I don't want to come to it. You just can't get away from it, can you? Apparently. Apparently not. Our daughter just got back from Florida. Yesterday. And it, yesterday. And today's, this morning, it was what, 20 something degrees yeah. out? Yeah. Uh, here? No. Uh, here. How about up there? Oh, there, it, yeah, here. up here it was like twenty something degrees. Still up seventy five to twenty, getting off the plane. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were cold for us. We, I think, the high today was like sixty two. So yeah. I feel so sorry for you. Oh man. I, I think just a couple days ago the high was eighty two though. Yeah. So. It was so cold this morning that I actually had to wear pants, not shorts. And I do not like to wear he pants in March. Not <laughs> ever wear pants this late in the year. That's like a December, January, maybe February thing. Yes. And he will go on strike until probably late November, probably close to Christmas, at least, before he puts on pants again. But today he was like, I'm wearing pants. I was like, oh well, God. it was like, it was like it real was cold. Like eight this morning. It was really at 4 cold. 30 in the morning. So yeah. I don't know how you guys do it. And it's humid up there too. So I yeah. really don't know how we you get guys. it all. <laughs> I'm a tropical person. I don't know why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, I've been living in the southeast between Alabama, Georgia, and Florida since the second grade. And yeah, mm -mm. you can't go back. My skin is too thin, as they say. <laughs> yes. I, I I'm ruined. <laughs> you got Karina up in the mountains freezing too. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hi guys. Yeah, Hi, we have I was looking. 45 degrees right now, which is really, really warm. Like, really warm. <laughs> 45. 45 is really warm. Yeah. We are up to 63. Uh, right now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, from March, it's, yeah, it's really warm. But I was, uh, I was listening to you about the pants, and the kids who grow up here, they are wearing shorts and um, a t shirt and a jacket that's not a puppy. And you're like, you drop them off to school in the morning and you're like, what the cool there is going? I mean, you know, these big jackets and they're not close to you. I mean, they have puppies, but yeah, they're they sure every them. morning when they go to school, that's how they dress. And you're like, Cause they're convinced you know, I'm it's wearing warm. a sweater. <laughs> I'm like, what sweater, a puppy, a scarf. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, I don't it know how they right. do it. But they... Well, so, it's like down Yeah, it's pretty warm. I was going to say down here because it's spring break with all the college kids, they come down here and they're all in the Gulf and we're just like, oh, you know, like there is no, you couldn't, there's no amount of money you could pay me right now to get in that water. Yeah, that was all, my daughter. 
Yeah, and That's they're cool. all out there, you know, bikinis, getting lobster-fied, you know, in I don't Healing. even know what temperature <laughs> waters. And yeah, there's no way, no way. Yeah, yeah, it's warm to us. Yeah. Dan, we usually get, you normally get 120 inches a year. Oh, mm. I snowboat my driveway in shorts. This makes sense. <laughs> that would be you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you have, he has a snowblower. That's pretty darn good. We don't have one of those. Yeah. We we think about getting one and then we know that if we buy one, it will not snow. And then I just wasted $800. So the, we almost <laughs> bought one this year and I think we would have used it maybe once. We didn't even shovel, I think. think this we didn't year. even shovel this year once. Yeah. It was there and then gone like really fast. Yeah. Ex- except the over at the warehouse where it drifted against well, the. Yeah. That day was that terrible. Was and the people didn't actually clean the back lot. And then my soil it, delivery didn't, didn't show up. Yeah. And then, yeah. That was, was a fun day. But yeah. adventure. other than that, it was decent winter. Yeah. Our soil delivery yeah. guys are so good that they even came back with a different smaller truck so they could fit in even though it was full of snow. That was the delivery people. They're like, yeah, we'll get a smaller truck and try to get it in there. And Thank you. Yes. Because where, where, the- where I live, they leave the packages uh, most of the time um, on the street. We have a long driveway. Um, <laughs> just leave it there. Because they don't want to get, get stuck. They don't want to get yeah. And we normally have, like right now, there's three feet of snow. So we have between three and five feet of snow outside all the time. And then my husband plows, and we used to have a snow plow only. And he, I mean, sometimes it took him two or three hours to drive to clear the. Now we have a small tractor, um, mm. which is super helpful. I mean, it, you know, I'm two sure. hour work in half an hour. So no, no. big snow. No, thank you. So, I'm not made for that. <laughs> But it's super safe here. We don't even lock our door. It's so peaceful. I mean, there's there's good things too. Yeah. But I do miss yeah. in winter the the sensation of air on your skin. You know, for months at a time. That's something I I miss. Um, I, I, it's cool. very nice. You get used to the cold, and you know, I pretty much don't wear gloves or. I have all kinds of things in my car just in case that I never wear. Right. And, you know, you start the winter with a jacket and at the end you're like, I'm not wearing boots. I refuse to wear boots. I My jacket is in the car. I don't need it to get into the car. <laughs> you yeah. know? So you start shedding stuff. But, Starts accumulating um, stuff in the car. Yeah. I mean, it's like it's there if I need it. But the one thing that you can't make up is months and months of not, not feeling that warm air on your skin. And, and that I, I do miss. You know, when I think of people who live in warmer weather, I'm like, oh, wouldn't that be nice to, you You know. They live in warmer weather and they think 55 is like frigid though, so. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, it's very dry. No, but to be fair, like I grew up in Patagonia where it was not humid, but it wasn't dry like here. Uh, Yeah, 55 degrees there would have been much colder because it was super windy, super windy, and it was not, it was just normal. It wasn't dry. But here it's so dry that it's 55. It it doesn't feel as cold as in any other place, you know. Any other place, 55 would be colder. Yeah. uh, Anyway, that's why it doesn't, that's why we can say, oh, 45 is warm because it is warm. (laughs) (laughs) Because it really isn't cold. Because <laughs> it isn't mm. humid. It's day. <laughs> and welcome so. in, Kyle. I'm going to get to Hi. greet you when you came in. So welcome. All right. All right. Any questions anybody got this week? Or we want to keep talking about weather? Either way. What's your Hello, name? Mike. How Hi. are you? Uh, doing great, Kyle. How about yourself? Doing good. Good. How's the weather where you're at? Well, it was 18 this morning, felt like 9 at 4.30 this morning, and it is now 63, so. It was you know, windy. The we, wind we, was Yeah, the wind was dumb. terrible, so. <laughs> well, we got up to 70. <laughs> nice. Beat me. Wow. But yeah. you were talking about I, some places think that 50 degrees isn't cold, uh, 
it's cold. Well, some of them, like down in Florida, 50 degrees would be with the humidity as high as it is. Yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, it's a different type of cold. It goes all the way to the bone. Yeah. Humidity makes everything worse. It makes the cold everything. colder and the hot, hot hotter. Hot. Yeah. yeah. So my mother used to say that if you live in the South, you need you don't need lungs, you need gills. <laughs> Go swimming in the air. Yes, because it's so humid. And she wasn't wrong, but yeah. And there you I, are. I completely South. agree with you, Kyle. It, it is, de it definitely can feel a lot colder than it really is with the humidity. It's whatever your body's used to makes a difference. Yeah. If you're used to 70s and 80s and it's 50, it's going to feel colder. Yeah. When you're used to, you know, negatives, you know, then, you know, whatever. Yeah. We're in Illinois. We're used to all of it. So you have a lot of humidity in Illinois? Yeah. No, no. no. It's some, yeah, I mean, summer we do get dumb. humidity high here, yeah. Uh, during during the summer and stuff. Like humidity July and crazy. August, it's like heat indexes are through the roof because the humidity is so high. Does it make it harder for you to grow your microgreens? Same temperature indoors all the time. A lot harder for the dehumidifier. The dehumidifier works harder. <laughs> it never shuts up in July and August. Ever. Like, like right now, it hasn't rained. I don't think most of yesterday. And I it kicked on occasionally, on like when I was watering it, kicked yeah. on. But, That's um, about it. Some the first winter we went through, we actually had to get a, de a humidifier in mm -hmm. the grow room because the humidity couldn't keep up. Our humidity was down to like five and six percent. Yeah in the grow room we're like we have to do something watered a lot <laughs> watered a lot and we so, were growing a pro mix then too so yeah we watered a lot luckily it was in the house so it was yeah. easier you didn't have to come back and do stuff although we would still be here now but uh anyway yeah. <laughs> but yeah made it a lot easier being in the house so but, but yeah we, we go with the ranges we illinois we get it all everything but not a lot of snow this year, and I'm okay with that. Just that one bad one. Yeah, just one. Well, it was too icy. Like, we couldn't even get to the warehouse. That It was just, uh, there was too much ice. A quarter inch of like ice. A quarter inch of ice. I'm like, well, it's Monday, but it's harvest day, but it's not worth the risk of getting yeah. a wreck. So we waited till the afternoon, and then we came in and just stayed later Yeah, and did it then. But They had like four or five semis pulled off on the side of the road yeah. on the interstate, and yeah. The huge. No, no risk. No, not not worth the risk. So we stayed home and came in the afternoon when they got the roads salted and stuff and cleared. A lot. Good thing about owning your own business, you get to determine if you want to do that or not. There's the dog. I knew we'd hear it eventually. Eventually. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Making their presence known. Yes. How dare you talk to someone else? Any questions? Did you guys ever? Yes, I, I, did you guys ever hear back about the Coco Loco? I know there was a question about... Uh, just if they got I was the just checking for that to see if they did. No, but did you guys get your certificates in? Who, who was at the class? Karina, you were there, right? The GAP class? Say that again? You were at the GAP certification, right? Yeah, I was, and I, I can't remember the details, but there was something about maybe one of the components of Coco Loco. Yeah. Did you get your certificate in the mail? Um, in the mail, I haven't seen it on the mail. We got so ours. that's something that we buy a regular mail. Yeah, regular mail. It comes in a big envelope. Oh, like this. I haven't even opened mine. Oh, okay. I had to check. I haven't picked that mail in a while. Okay. Oh, that's great to know. I thought I don't know why I thought it would yeah, come in. Oh. oh no! Sure I got my other one. Got yeah, your food safety one. Got my produce safety alliance certificate, which we had to give to the food banks to be able to get uh, their orders. So yeah, so that was good. I haven't been able um, to do the website thing yet. I was busy doing taxes, and then my daughter came from Minnesota. Oh, had a break fine. from school and crashed at our house with other four children and students and again in a few days. So anyways, I 
I know I missed, I think I missed one of the second trainings, which I still have to watch. So that's in my to do, um, my to do list. Yeah. So I don't have questions because of that. Yeah. Well, if you ever come up with questions, always, you can always put them in the, in the group too. So that's fine. Okay. And I guess something I could share, um, I, something about farm flow. So I was shifting my, um, harvest date. I think I had it set up for Saturday mm-hmm. I, and I moved it for Thursday. Um, and then I added a new order for a little market and it kind of changed my, some of my products. So I ended up one of my markets that I have recurring orders. I put all the orders that, that I have that I'm, this is a place where I can take whatever I want. Uh, so I decide what I'm taking. Mm-hmm. So I put the product right now and I added two or three more that I'm gonna that I'm not doing yet and so I put zero amount zero I was like oh I put it it's in my list and when I start doing it I'll change it to whatever number but for now I have my my full list that that's what I thought was a good thing and then I went to my sewing to-do list and I had like one day a week where I had all these crops, zero ounces, and zero base. And I was like, so confused. I was like, and that was my normal, what used to be my normal sewing day, hmm. which was when. So anyways, once I updated everything, I started looking Monday, Tuesday, there was nothing any day except Wednesday, and it was zero. And I was like, something's wrong, something's wrong. And so I communicated with Andy, and sure enough, what happened was it took a little while for the whole changes to get absorbed somehow. They didn't show up immediately. They showed up like the next day. Oh. So the next day on Monday, everything was there as it should have been. You know, my my sewing day now was Monday. So, But I, once I put it there, it didn't show up immediately, which was really confusing. Um. And then Wednesday was still there with all these zeros. And I was like, why are all these zeros here? Like, why is it telling me to sew zero ounces of zero yeah. trades? It just seems so bizarre. And so I communicated with Andy and he's like, you must have an order of zero somewhere. I was like, that's odd. I went back and I thought, oh yeah, I put this product with zero because I'm not doing it yet. So anyways, I just wanted to share that in case that happens to you at some point. Uh, if you see zeros in your sewing, uh, it's because you have an order that's zero somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So if you yeah. enter an order of zero, you know, you put your product and you put zero, um, it will trigger something in the list that will all be zero. It's all zero. Oh, no. Well, yeah. So I want to tell you guys, because you guys are all my close friends here, you know, um, I've stopped using Firmflow. It's too slow. It just it, it it goes too slow. When I go to like put in a crop amount of what I've sold, and it just sits there and spins and goes. I do not have the patience. I don't have the patience for, this. for that. So I went back to seed leaf because I can just put it in right away. Boom, it's done. Yeah. And it, it just it rolls really really quick. So, and and he's supposed to have done an update to make it faster the other day, and I went to try it, and it's still really slow. Really slow. So. Just for where we're at, the volume that we're doing, I just, it just doesn't keep up with the speed that I need to do. So. On my end, like we update orders on a weekly basis. So every grocery store that we deliver to, I update their order every single week. And it took me two hours to update orders because it was add one, take that one off, load this. You know, we were just loading the whole time. I'm like, I'm going to throw this computer out the window. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And with uh, Seed Leaf, honestly, I can look at the whole order and can just type, 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 type. Hit and save. Seed Leaf now has advanced features in it as well, where you can put how many you sold to what crops and all that stuff as well, too. So, so. it's not as intuitive yeah. as FarmFlow, where it keeps track of everything and the seeds amounts and what you need to order and all that stuff, which FarmFlow is awesome with. Yeah. The to do list, awesome. It's just recording stuff. It just takes too long to load for the everyday for the everyday tasks. So 
I was really hoping right that now, I'm way too busy to do that. So we just went back to seed leaf because I'm already paying for it too, paying for both. So I went back and just using it because it's just quicker and easier. Simple. For right now, yes. that's what I need. That's really good to know. Uh, and actually, I had missed, there was a message that Andy sent saying that he was going to upgrade the system, which I didn't even see. But I, I, um, I mean, I saw it afterwards. But I didn't notice that things were lower. And I was like, oh, what's happening? And I, I know I have a good connection because everything else is fast. And I, I noticed like it was slow and all of a sudden it was lower, like two days later. And and I was and then I noticed the email that things were being updated and I was like, Oh, this update actually in my experience it made things even slower. I hope it changes. Uh, but it is it, very just, Yeah. I hope it works out. I, I mean out. it's yeah, it, that's a, a big issue that how slow it is. I have like three browsers open. In one, I have the to do um, the harvest, mm -hmm. no, the sowing. And I have one for Monday, one for Tuesday. I have one for each day of the week so that I don't have to cycle from day to day. Uh, you know, if I want to see Tuesday, I have a tab for Tuesday. I don't open Monday and then move to Tuesday because that's too slow. But the one thing I noticed was if I change my orders, and so I know that that should change Wednesday, for example. If I have a tab open for Wednesday, it doesn't update on its own. I have to go back to Tuesday and then go back to Wednesday, and then Wednesday gets updated. And I have tried pressing F5, like I have Wednesday open, and so I, I change my orders, so Wednesday should have changed. I press F5. No, it doesn't update. I had to click to another day and then go back to Wednesday, and now it's updated. And all that, as you said, is time. Yeah. Um, of course, I am at a different scale that you guys are, but even I. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I sew and I'm like, oh, I'll record that tomorrow. I'll write it down on a piece of paper. I'll record it tomorrow because I don't want to deal with it right now. It's like it's late and I don't have time. Like, yeah. it won't take one minute. It won't yeah. take one minute. I you agree. Know? Lorena, you got something? Um, so big deal, big deal. Lorena? Um, so I was just, just for clarification purposes, um, I thought, I at least I was thinking, I mean, and you guys, as in Mike and Jess, you guys, you know, agree or tell me otherwise, but um, I just thought that it would be better if I saved my marketing questions for right. so let's get back to the fun Yay. guess who's back <laughs> looks like the mic is working now so i guess we'll switch to the lav mics again only 11 minutes for dinner that's not too bad Oh, I didn't even see Mark was on. Mentally dope. Hello, what am I missing out? Just woke up, wore myself out. <laughs> I feel that for sure. So we are finishing up here. Um, I will probably throw a new battery in the camera so I can go back to being on the fancy camera and we are on our almost hour 11, so I'm going to throw a new battery over in the camera, switch on the lav mics, and start again. Yeah. He's just hanging out there. Yeah, he's kind of pulling stuff around, so... Hello all, how's everybody doing? All right, Jess is still doing that. Mike is playing on his phone and labeling. Clocking in, sorry, he's clocking in. Um, all right. 
Oh, you're going to put the bang camera on? Yeah. Christina, make sure you all get some rest. Rest is one of the best medicines. Yeah. We'll get there. We'll, we'll get there someday. <laughs> no, well, the, today's a long day. Uh, tomorrow won't be as long. But tomorrow's getting all the stuff finished up and then getting all the stuff out of germination, too. So that takes a minute, too. Unbricking everything. It's a lot of bricks. By the way, speaking of that, arugula. Huh? Arugula needs to come out. Oh, arugula needs to come out. We can have kids take that out. Yeah. In a moment. It's, it's really wearing out. Arugula really wants out. We take good power naps. We'll get about six hours in today. I will probably get six hours in. We got to go through this process and see how everything works and does and what we need labor wise and all that stuff. So, so y'all can stop seeing my face so close. Let's switch this back to the camera. Woohoo! Better view. Much better view. All right. So you got the audio on the labs. Yep. Turn on that part. You have to turn all that off to be able to hear. Yep. How many trees did you plant for that expo a few weeks ago? Hundred? Something like that, yeah. Somewhere around 80 to 100, people. somewhere in that range. Some of it was the take for display and for uh, live harvesting for samples too. So there's probably 30 trays of that. <clears throat> so, yeah. The cell is probably about 50 to 60 trays. This cell. Somewhere in that range. That, that's been a while. I'd have, to look, I'd have to look that up. It's somewhere in that range. All right. All right, all right, all right. That's a, very impressive. That's it, probably not good either, but that's impressive. Ah, oh, crap. Peas are haunting me. <laughs> Two peas setting up there. I'm never going to get done with peas. Never. Looking back on the shelf, I found two uh, two more peas that I need to harvest and put away. So, yeah. So I'm gonna do these down here. Quality camera. Hey. Yeah. You got the actual camera. I thought it was your camera for it, and I got real close. To it. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. See this? Okay. I look on the shelf. I'm like, you got kidding me? There's probably two more somewhere else. There's probably more hiding. All right. Man, I'm glad we got this this month. We would have had this in March with the expo and everything. Woo! I no. wouldn't have room. Good but awful. Good but awful. Hopefully, by we still have this business and we have more racks by the expo.
Yeah, it'll have to go a little bit on that side too, I think. So I have what? How many of those so far? Seventy. Okay. Seventy-two. <laughs> yeah. All right, try this again. Third time is a germ. <laughs> Poor husband. I mean, at least they fit in that bin huh? with the other. At least they fit in the bin with the yeah. others. Yeah, that's true. Otherwise, that would have been awful even more because then you're like getting. Where do I put these? <laughs> Death by a million tiny cuts. Toughen up, Buttercup. <laughs> uh, it's from the box of this. Mm-hmm. Cardboard cuts. Cardboard cuts everywhere. Uh, All right. Would you like me to do? Um, question. Do you think it would be proficient for me to cut a tray like this and give it to you? you? Pack it. And you could um, pack it. I was thinking about that earlier. Yeah. So. Just I'll cut two, pack one, pack one, yep. two, pack one. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, you can do that. Grab your part here. Scale. Can you swing it around? No, well, I'm just going to reprint them for the, yeah. for the stores. Oh yeah, throw them away. They've been driving you nuts, I'm sure. Boards everywhere. Keep knocking him down, picking him back up. Well, he's all tangly. These little ones all stuck together, so. Okay. Let's throw these in this. You should probably do that. Preferably in the bathroom. The dinner felt like longer than 11 minutes, so I was shocked it was only 11 minutes. Yeah, we were only gone for like 11 minutes, so according to StreamYard. You weren't that close. No. <laughs> I'll give them a little pinch more. What? Oh, they're still on that shelf probably in there. I don't think I ever took them off of there. Uh. 
Ito. Yeah. So did you put a band-aid on it earlier, goofball? Probably should have. Listen to your mama. No, yeah. every six weeks. That? Of those boxes? Oh, them? Yeah. Actually, Actually got 16 boxes, more yeah. coming tomorrow. And then that way we'll have a backup of 16, then we'll order 16 again. So we always will be one week, week ahead. ahead. So if crap doesn't go right and things don't come when they're supposed to, we'll still be able to do what we need to do. Containers. Technically, they're all boxes of some sort. People looking at them radishes like, man, I still got them this quick. Those are done. Those are done. Yep, yep. next week's. I have to what? Why? Oh. Do what? He's going to reschedule his documentary. Hmm. Not feeling it. His creative juices are not flowing. So drained. He's been sociable for like three days straight. Oh. 
too much socialization. Me and my skeleton are getting along over here. Check his feet levels. They get very picky if their feet levels aren't working. What? <sighs> Jess? What? What should he be doing in between? Because he's got nothing to label. Like, so we're no. not getting him so. I have one bin that you can put stuff in. He's over here in between. I have one, just one. Oh, them are radishes ones, yeah. I don't know. Good question, sir. <laughs> That's an excellent question. Ha ha. Found it.
Are you just doing two different things right now? Hmm? Nope. It's just two different things. I cut. Oh, the patterns. Yeah, there's pink and black and black and pink because, you know. That's, that's what was available. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like a hodgepodge. I'm hoping as we get more consistent with the orders that we'll be able to refine the uh, pattern a little bit. You know, not a big deal. Not a issue, just a little bit confusing when you're doing dishes, but by the time you're done scraping them and putting them away, they'll be in order again. Ah. Might wanna sweep that up then. Maybe. Uh, very possible. Yes. I'm going to go with yes. Your own things. Just a fish. Just a fish. So nothing. Just sorting them by twos.
go to that table and do that next time. The wiggles. Just like. Just enough to irritate the steel. under because it always likes to be weird. Never 100% on zero. No, bueno. Your phone's in here. Uh, you left it in there earlier and I brought it out to you. He's left this lab here. Yeah. Squeeze. Reload.
You trying to kill yourself over there by toe? Just with a stub toe? Mm. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's going to happen eventually. I don't know. Terrible. all she wrote on that one. Huh? <laughs> <sighs> Making weird faces. I think he already knows you're weird. It's okay. I'm not weird. You are. Rap rock, okay, cool. <laughs> You're like, this is so awkward. that necessarily for you. 
No, sir. Good try. Not today, Satan. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. Oh, wait, there's more. They're multiplying. I'll have more up on the shelf. Huh? I don't know. You're supposed to be counting, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you take the box? I don't know. We're at 140. Cool. Oh, we're halfway there. Well, based on the rocks with the fields, yeah, we're halfway there. Yeah. Apparently. <laughs> There is no experienced person in this kind of world. They they don't exist. Knife work. Someone who understands knife work. We lock the front door. <laughs> Unless there's a pizza delivery. Then we don't lock the front door. He's a yeah. <laughs> so he's an older guy. He's like, so how do you advertise that you have a podcast? I was like, well, our podcast is on YouTube. So we advertise through Facebook and YouTube and He's like, you can advertise on YouTube? I'm a little older, so it's, it's, this is all pretty foreign to me. He's like, yeah, if you go to YouTube and you look up Itty Bitty Micro Farm, you'll find our podcast. Okay. This is really interesting. Okay. You will see us post pizza. Shout out to the Papa John's delivery guy. The what? The color of this camera is much more warm. And yeah. There's a laptop. <laughs> you can't what? No, you cannot dump anymore. You want to load the rest of the peak trays? So there's eight down there, one, two, three, four over on the other side. And they can get loaded onto this. Yeah, four, there's one below him. Yeah. Oh, seriously. 
character zero. Jerk. So Scott, is it competition on his live a thon? Yeah. I, mean, I guess I could do that too, but I don't want to do it. It's a little bit harder to do. I don't know, it might not be bad, as bad with the lab mic now. Hmm? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Get your greens, y'all. And that that kind, Potchester. Feeling a little sluggish, Potchester. Get your greens. Get the greens that are good for you, Fat kids. Now they're a bunch of meth heads. They've moved on. Not bigger and better things. Yeah. I don't know if we had a class song. I didn't participate enough to know. We might have. Who knows? Probably. Not sure what it was. Wasn't there to find out. Uh, we didn't get penalized for stuff like that. I literally called myself off. There's a certain number of days. Hey y'all, <laughs> what you doing? Well, yeah, we're past. Coming up on twelve here, about twenty. Yeah, yeah. Just 
We'll just squish that there. It's fine. How much of a wall does he have? That one side left. Well then, we're at 150. Boop, boop. Then boxes, cases. cases. That's the word I was looking for. Do you want to open up another thing of containers? Like all out. Nice. Yeah. Make two piles out of it. Skills, mad skills, bro. That'll work. No, just got this one. Okay. Fifteen minutes. See if that 12 hour mark still exists on YouTube. Of it. Is that chunk? Thank you. 
A list? Oh, like something for them to do? No, I did not. I need to give him something. Probably tonight, tomorrow. Tonight, so we can have it tomorrow. Something like that. The one on the wall? Yeah, there's a little attachment for that. Yeah. There's a little attachment for him. Yeah. That'd be hilarious. That might get him fired. Good idea. The drying rack in the dish room. That's disorganized right now. I don't think it's broken. He just has it all jacked up. That's all. I mean, it is coming undone a little bit. I don't think he has that skill set to fix that. <laughs> but he can put away all the deep trays from the lettuce. So there's a metric ton of those back there right now.
It might be breaking things more than fixing things. Where do they go? Uh, good question. Here's a helicopter for a second. Can you make it through there? Oh, yeah. Totes. Daisy chain. You see two stall stacks? Stall stacks? Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Probably would have been the more strategic strategy there. It was idea there. It got done. Not gracefully, but it got done. Was it done? Did you die? Bitty bunches. <laughs> 